Ahoy, mateys! Today we are playing Pirate Borg with Luke, aka, AKA Lim Limithron, from uh, the creator behind Pirate Borg. So excited to do this. Uh, we had a great interview the other night with uh, with Luke. Uh, so if you haven't already checked that out, uh, I'll put a link here. So if you're watching this after, uh, you can click on that and check that out. Uh, we get some inside information about this game. It's doing really, really well on Kickstarter. Let's take a look at it real quickly. Um, go ahead and uh, if you would, if you're interested in anything that we are talking about, go check it out on Kickstarter. It's over eighty-three thousand dollars and almost two thousand backers it's just crazy it's uh doing super super well we're super excited about this game we're super excited to showcase this stick around it is going to be pirate borg i'm super stoked hey everyone welcome to victor condition gaming my name is doug tonight on the show we're doing something special. We got a special episode. Playing Pirate Borg, which is on Ooh. Kickstarter. Yeah, I And uh, we've got a great uh, cast. We're going to do an actual play of it. But if you're interested in this game, go check it out. The Kickstarter link is in the description below. We've got the one and only Luke with us. Luke, what is going on? Ahoy. Ahoy, laddies. Ahoy. Welcome aboard, Pirate Borg. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Luke. Very I'm the... You feel what? I feel underdressed. Like look, look at everybody else. Everybody's like, <laughs> "Hey, you're, you're the only buddy. one that's on a ship right now." So <laughs> that's true. That's true. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, you're you're introducing yourself. I'll let you get. Oh back yeah, to that. just my, that's, my that's the most important Luke. thing. I'm yeah, I'm a I'm an independent uh, Patreon creator under the banner of Limithron. I make mostly pirate ship maps and uh, naval themed battle maps. Uh, about a year, eight months ago, I started writing Pirate Borg as a hack of Mork Borg. Uh, I love Mork Borg. I love pirates. The two go perfectly together. And then uh, earlier this month, I launched on Kickstarter. And it has destroyed all of my expectations and dreams as far as uh, backers and whatnot. Um, and I'm very excited to be here playing with you all. Well, we're really, uh, we're extremely grateful for you giving your time and, and, and doing this actual play with us. Uh Usually we have our Monday night show, which we call the Chaotic Good Cast. We're not doing that tonight. We we decided we'd we do this instead. Uh, so the, you, you'll probably see, you see most of the familiar faces from from the uh, the co-hosts of that show. We've got Ben, Jason, and Amanda. Thank you so much for uh, for oh, adjusting that, your schedules. Is that why you didn't play the the, the regular theme song? Yeah, I was that's, confused. That's, oh, yeah, I was that's, like, that's why. I didn't get to do my little dance. I was... No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we did an actual, we're actually going to be making this an actual actual play episode and not an episode. An actual, okay. actual. Yes. I, was... I had a dad joke ready to go. Oh. Right. Is it a pirate dad joke? It is a pirate dad joke. <gasps> All right, go yeah, go ahead and give it. And then, All right. anyway. then, we'll, then we're going to hand the show over to, to Luke. So, what is a pirate's <laughs> favorite letter of the alphabet? You see, you'd think it'd be R, but their true love be the C. <laughs> Can we take inspiration away from him now? <laughs> yes. Okay, you actually got me with that one. That was actually funny. <laughs> Daryl would like to know, will the stream be kid-friendly or is it rated R? It is. Uh, it will probably be... <laughs> PG, I have been PG told 13. I'm not allowed to swear. So yeah, yeah, I, I guidance told. suggested. So so uh, we'll we'll try to make it as as uh, all ages friendly as possible, and uh, we're gonna yeah, try appreciate to that. mostly behave yeah, ourselves. I, exactly. I think if you're in the camp of of uh, death and violence being PG thirteen, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and consuming rum. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is where I take my show and I condense it and I. Throw it over there. Actually, I probably should have put it in a cannon and shot oh, it over. Oh, over yeah. here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you definitely, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the show is yours now. Well, um, I... great. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, I thought we'd try something a little different tonight. There is a sandbox module in the back of Pirate Borg called The Curse of Skeleton Point. And we are not going to be running that. Uh, I, I ran that last week, and I kind of feel like there is a bunch of there's so much stuff in this book to run sandbox improv games, if you will. That I thought we'd show some of it off. 
Uh, I'm going to maybe expose a few of those roles a bit more than I, I normally would in a game. I'm sure you guys will all be happy to play along, but just to kind of see like the toolkit that one is diving into by um, uh, boarding the pirate board pirate ship, if you will. So without further ado, why don't we, can you kick it over to my shared screen and I'll, I'll share some visual assets. Um, okay, so let's kick it over to here. One other thing. So that I will, you I will, guys. Oh. One, just one more thing before I, before we get going too far is I forgot to mention that please hit the like button down below and share this actual play with, with everybody if you know that they are fans of pirates and uh, they, they would be a big fan of, of uh, Pirate Borg. That's all. All right. Back to you, Luke. Sure. So, um... Welcome to Coral Town, you scurvy sea dogs. You'll be a bunch of scurvy low-down pirates, and you'll be based out of this measly little town on Black Coral Bay, the scurviest island in the Dark Caribbean. So the Dark Caribbean is the setting for our game tonight. It's a very kind of grim, dark version of the Car Caribbean we all know. Um, during the day, it's bright and sunny and cheerful, but when, when everybody sh showed up at this place... Uh, you know, in the 1400s or whatever, there was nobody here. Uh, there were deserted towns and treasure everywhere, and it quickly grew into a thriving um, Caribbean metropolis, if you will. And of course, the scourge would be coming out of the sea. Slowly, uh, one by one at first, and then in larger and larger mobs, the undead and, and terrible monsters from the deep rose and started just wreaking havoc on all the towns across the dark caribbean but luckily you're not in one of those towns that's been destroyed you're in um town a pirate haven known for smuggling and rum running and all that kind of thing um this is where we are in coral town we're right here in this building in the um in the center of town called the green kraken inn uh and i've got a little i've got some assets that we're not going to be using foundry today like you might if you were playing online, but I've got some stuff prepared, so I might as well use it. So, um, so uh, you guys are here in the Green Kraken. This is our little tavern, and uh, we're gonna see you're down here having a little meeting with Captain Davy, who's kind of the leader of this this kind of pirate ring of fencing operations, uh, and he's gathered you you two or the four of you who are uh, the represent the crews of two different pirate ships so i would like to know uh about the four of you you could go around the table and then decide amongst yourselves uh preferably in a heated debate um who is the captain of each of the two ships and what those ships names are uh let's start with doug um Tell us my about name who is... your character is a little about their backstory and maybe maybe their class sure sure um so uh, my name is diego and I am a sorcerer class, so and and I am. Let me see here. I've, I'm kind of cl I'm I'm a clairvoyant, so I can kind of like tap into like the spirit realm a little bit. And actually, I I I, I lost someone very important to me, and so th what I think is their ghost actually haunts me, and I can see them from time to time or uh, see them following me around, but I. Nobody else can see them, so I talk to them quite a, quite a bit, and people just think that I'm talking to myself, but I'm actually talking to them. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got uh, that's it's somebody that, that I that I loved quite dearly, and and I think that that's them on the other side. At least that's how they've appeared to me. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm just full of I just have a lot of tattoos all over my body, kind of kind of scrawny looking, but uh, you know, kind of kind of ragged. Uh, I got the be the long beard going on, and just, yeah, that's that's um, typical like piratiness going on, just with lots of tattoos, and seem to be a little crazy by talking to myself. But I'm actually talking to, you know, someone that I think that I lost a while ago. Mm -hmm. And I, and during one of these bouts, uh, Captain Davies looks at you and he says. Hey, laddie, you be paying attention. I be talking about a job for you. Eyes up here. Quit looking off in the corner. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. I just, you know, trying to, trying to att attend to everybody else in the room. 
I right, very well. Well, uh, how you? How about you? What's your story? Uh, let's go with Benjamin. So I am Sebast, and I've got uh, it's kind of this old, dirty naval uniform that's kind of been modified a little bit to almost look like uh, like a priest vestments. Uh, I am a zealot class, uh, and I have devoted myself to worshiping an old god, and I believe that this god chose me to follow uh, its way uh, by gifting me this uh, this small fossil of an of an extinct fish that I actually wear around my neck, kind of encased in a in a in a chain. And uh, yeah, I am. I've got this. Just a little bit of a wild look in my eye, which detracts uh, or, or distracts from uh, the missing ear that uh, a lot of people just kind of gloss over, even though it is kind of a gnarly looking hole on the side of my head. Um, I definitely uh, have a knack for collecting things. Uh, my backpack that is always on my person uh, has a few... Uh, pieces of wood sticking out of it that are wrapped in a in in an oil soaked cloth, and um, yeah, there's just a little bit of a little bit of tension uh, in the air whenever I'm at a meeting. Yeah, so Davy's kind of he turned and he gives you one of those very like I know how wh- how crazy you are nods and tips of the hats as you walk into the tavern <laughs> and you pull up a seat. You know, uh, how about Jason? Um, I'm playing Ian Baleby. Uh, he looks like he's been drugged out of the gutter, uh, has absolutely no style whatsoever. He has a tattered and ruined old bike horn on his head. Um, not the brightest man in the world. He's well known to the people in the Green Kraken. Uh, he's always hanging out by the stage, ta- telling tall tales. He's got a million of them. Never ends. He hasn't yet found one he doesn't know famous for interrupting people who think they do know a tale that he doesn't know and he'll just carry on with it and oftentimes be completely incorrect uh dumb as a post uh where where uh diego is staring off thinking he's talking to somebody else i'm just staring off because my attention span is that of a goldfish so um allowed in the green kraken more frequently than not because he's pretty good at brewing grog oddly enough uh always has some on him Willing to share. I'm sorry. Was his class the brute? Uh, no, he's a rapscallion. Or the rapscallion. Rapscallion. Oh yes, yeah. Grog brewer is your subclass, if you will. Right? Yeah. And did you say was was it Ian Baleby? Baleby. B a y l b e. B a y l b e. Great. Okay. And how about Amanda? Uh, I used the the pirate Borg random character generator, which was very fun uh, because it came up with this character who's named Miles Squidlips Appleseller. So you can just call me Squidlips. Squidlips. <laughs> I'm a buccaneer. So I have uh, my musket with me. Uh, I'm also dressed in an old uh, uniform and conquistador helmet. I am also uh, kind of just a... I, I'm pretty quiet and just kind of hanging back and observing the situation at this point. But also I am standing a little bit apart from everybody because I smell bad. All the time. I smell very bad. <laughs> Uh, Davy's kind of oh, squid lips just smell awfully, awfully bilgy today. <laughs> Anything you can be doing about that? No. Well, of course. Well, anyway, gathering lads. Um, I can't remember which one of you is the captains of your vessels again. <laughs> this, this is your opportunity <laughs> to <laughs> decide who the two captains are. I'm trying to think of a clever way to not be the captain because I'm dumb as a post. <laughs> oh no, are you just like a really that's, that's it's literally a flaw of mine. I am stupid. A that's dumb, terrible, awful captain. captain. Okay, if you that's if you hilarious. guys 
If you guys don't think we can decide uh, in a civil or uncivil manner, whichever we prefer, you can all make a presence check to see who the most intelligence is, who Ooh. most intelligent is amongst Ooh. us. Ooh. Like That's like all rolls in Morgborg, Mork, this is just a it's just a D twenty, and you add your presence modifier. All oh right. yes, it's almost certainly in the hilarious. Oh, this is a, oh for the love of okay. <laughs> hey. Uh, I, say I hello will... to your captain. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got an 18. Nice. <laughs> nice. Even with a minus okay, two, I rolled a 20. <laughs> okay, okay. I rolled yeah, 18. Any, who else? Who's it? 10? I, I have a 17. Vast? 17. Okay, 17. Squid lips. What, what do you got? Seven. <laughs> Seven. Okay, all right. So it's uh, Sebastian and Bailby. You had the, an eighteen, right? Yeah. All right. So here, I'm. I'm just gonna roll for these. Showing off here, I've, I've got my uh, random ship name generator. Bailby, you are the captain of uh, the Executioner's Hand. Oh, nice. And uh, Sebast, you are the captain of the. Adventures Ghost. All right. Now, these are both sloops, which are the ideal pirate vessel. Sh shallow draft, uh, single mast, agile, can sail, tack into the wind, that kind of thing. Um, so um, Davies kind of gathers you all around. He says, all right, well, listen, he, you all know we usually be doing piracy and fence it in this piece, but uh, I've gotten word of a new derelict popping up. Now, sidebar, you guys would all be familiar that in the Dark Caribbean, there's plunder everywhere. There's so many dead people and ships. Uh, it happens all the time that uh, hunting and, you know, uh, salvage operations at uh, on these derelict ships can be extremely profitable. So at the mention of the word derelict, you guys would all peak up. Um, mm -hmm. So okay. Davey says, I've, I've gotten word only a few miles away there'd be a... a Capsized galleon washed up on a beach. i will be sending you both out to look it out, and as usual, you know, we'd be taking our 20% cut of any fines you'd be making, but, you know, Godspeed, best of luck, be, be traveling to side that terrible thing. Who knows what'd be causing it to be going missing. What say ye? I catch your tongue, huh? <laughs> it'll, be a, it'll be a fine, fine showing. A gift from the god of the deep. Mm. We will be there, and we will take what we can and bring back what god wills. What do you say, Captain? I think we'd be following him. All right. So, who do you think is on uh, Diego <laughs> and S Diego and Squidlips? Which ships do you guys think that you're on? Oh, I, I'm with I'm with stupid. I'm with Captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'll be with the uh, Sebast. Excellent, excellent. Uh, why don't you guys talk amongst yourselves really quickly while I set up the the next uh, visual aid here, real quick? Uh, what might you be discussing before you're getting ready to? You guys are down at the docks, like getting your ships ready to go to sea. You know. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Aye, right, squid lips. Which which one of these is ours? Did you forget which ship was ours again? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not even entirely sure what a ship is, much less like, do we just take one? No, we have one. We have one. Remember the, the executioner's well, hand? That's our ship. Aye, but we could just hang that name on any ship. N that's not how it works. It's not hung. It's it's painted on the side, and and that's ours right there. Oh, all right. Do you then. see the do you see the figurehead with the with the executioner's hood on it? That's oh, awesome. that's what that'd be. Okay. You get it? That it's a, it's a, it's on theme. It's like a it's a, it's one of those things that should help jog your memory. A brand, if you will, yes. Yes. All right. I was hoping it would be obvious enough, but I guess it's I, I guess I'm gonna have well, to put like one of those it, little it's, no, it, it's Captain Bale it's Captain Baleby, not Captain Obvious. On the on the end of the Yes the prow, maybe that way. Get, it'll be get on the boot, squid lips. All right. <laughs> Let's let's debate more so the, more sailing. Is this something you would like to like un 
hit yourself from the dock, or, or shall we just wait for you to figure that out at the derelict? I've got it. I've got it. It's it's fine. We'll you lead the way. We'll be following behind. So this is clearly clearly a scenario where the crew are really in charge. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. for sure. I'll be standing yeah. looking off uh, the back of the boat saying, where they be? <laughs> <laughs> and, and what's going on on the uh, Adv Adventurer's Ghost? Uh, so the Adventurer's Ghost is actually, um, a, it's a very low to the water uh, style sloop. Uh, and the, the gunnels and everything are, are whitewashed so that it kind of blends into the choppy waves as it moves across. Um, so... Getting us going, uh, Diego. If you can uh, lower the lower the mainsail and 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 trim the sheet, we'll be able to catch the wind and push us out of the harbor. And you, and, and Diego's like over off the side, just kind of like talking to himself. Uh, like I I know he's he's talking. I just leave me alone for a second. I know I I can hear him saying, just okay. And he like proceeds to go over to. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, what you just asked him to do? I'll be looking at their boat well, as it pulls out of the harbor. I'll look at Squid Lips for real quick and say, "Hey, they be cheating a bit. They got an extra crew member somewhere. Diego's talking to someone else." <laughs> so what we'll cut forward wait, to you wait, guys have actually us? been. A, is it just, is it, is no, no, you, you have some other NPC okay. crew. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. No, you have some other NPC <laughs> crew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys probably there's probably maybe four or five total on each of these ships. Now, if you were going for like a raid or something, you might load them a bit more. But we'll say you have like three or four NPCs each as needed. You know, this this episode's not about them though. You know, um. Just so we'll, to, we'll cut to forward to Walton line. Yes, exactly. Um, we'll cut forward to you guys have been at sea. You know, the Captain Davies has given you like the headings of this this nearby island where this derelict has been spotted. But, you know, um, it's about midday, and then you kind of hear uh, from the rigging of one of the ships, Captain, sails off the starboard bow! Oh, look at her, she's a... And I'm going to call for a few rolls to give our random ship generator a shot, a shot here. <laughs> um, so, here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have Bail B do all of these for the sake. Why don't you make me a <laughs> D10 roll? D10, okay. Am I adding anything? Nope. No, these are just nope. this is just a random okay. generator. We're just gonna give it a shot here. Table. Four. Four. You spot another sloop, a, a solo sloop. She's a solo sloop, sir. I think we can take her, Captain. Uh, make me another D six roll. Five. She looks like she's normally armed, and her crew looks pretty standard, Captain. I think we could take her. Um. <laughs> So off the bow, you know, you, off the starboard bow, you guys see this little sloop kind of floating along, um, and she's not; she's kind of like going the same direction as you. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I, uh, squid lips. What? Put us, Sir. put us, put us, put us on her stern. We'll try. We'll we'll come up alongside her. Um. All right. I'm gonna do my best to interpret that as an as an order that made sense. <laughs> How close do you really want to get, Captain? Are we boarding or are we fighting? What are we doing? I know we'll board her. We'll board her. You you want to board? I we'll leave the we'll leave the guns until we need them. Okay. So I will uh, pull up alongside. Honestly, Bailby has okay, no so idea the... if we even have guns. Boarding distance. <laughs> sure. So is it? Is the working directive? Are you guys probably going to signal to the other ship that you're going to try to to sack I, this ship? Uh, I have a feeling that like we're going to like get like our guns, our cannons, like all aimed and ready to shoot, and then like Bailby's like ship just kind of like cuts in, and like just right about as like, yeah, just about as we're we're about to shoot them, Bailby kind of like cuts in and like oh I guess I guess that's like we're not doing taking... that. Taking it's aim, and we're just like, right, just like right 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 abort, abort. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, well, with that, why don't we? Uh, can you cut to my my screen here, Doug? Yep. And I'm gonna show off this is the uh, the naval combat uh, rule set for this game, 
which is very, very rules light uh, intentionally. So basically the way it works is you, you play on a hex grid, which you can see I have behind us here. Um, in person, you can play on an actual hex grid or, or use just one inch measurements. Um, basically every round, each captain is gonna roll their ship's uh, agility score and and then add a d6 to set initiative for their ship so faster smaller ships will get to go first and big slow ships go second um and and then on the ship's turn the captain is going to move it however the captain sees fit and then every pc that's on the ship can make one crew action now for some reason there aren't enough crew to take up to two actions then the captain can take the rest of the actions. So for today's game, the captain is going to basically get to move and take one action, and then the other crew member is going to take their action, whatever that is. Um, that's pretty much the core of it. The rest is nitty-gritty, which we don't really have to worry about. Um, the one thing you might want to keep in mind is if you want to shoot, you can only fire your broadside cannons, which are a higher value, uh, when you are in, if you can see my little diagram there, when you're like kind of mm. at a 45 degree angle, like off the side of your ship. Um, otherwise, you have to, you can only fire your small, your small arms. So, okay. So, with that in mind, uh, I'll walk you through this. You guys don't have to know the rules or anything. Uh, I need both captains to make me a D6 check. Uh, and you're going to add, I think a sloop has a plus two, plus two. for agility. Plus yeah. Plus so, two, I, yeah. I got a seven. Three. Okay, so the, this ship rolled a one. Um, so All you right. guys are going to both get to go first. Um, the sloop speed is a six, six hexes or six inches. Um, so for you guys can go first. And remember, the ship does all of its stuff before it moves to the next person. So uh, what do you guys want to do? Um, we'll just move straight forward towards it. Uh, and is it, is a, I'm going to say that this, this one is the executioner's, what did I call it? Executioner's hand. Oh, the executioner's like hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now you get um, two actions. You can only choose each action once. Do you guys have the PDF up, or do I need to? I do. Re yeah. Read. Tell you yeah. every time. Great. Uh, so, Captain, what do you want? Uh Uh, um, I'll I'll holler down at the crew on the deck. Aye, scurvy dogs, go full sail. We've got to catch up to her. And I will try the full okay, sail. So you're gonna, you're, so, okay, so to go full sail, you're going to make a check using the chips, the ships. Um, sorry, let me pull my thing up here. Uh, to sh your ship's ability agility score, but then because you're commanding it, you get to add your agility score. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You get to make a no. That's right. That's right agility and add your agility which represents you like swinging around the ship pulling rigging okay. maybe in this case you're yelling at other crew quickly <laughs> so you're gonna do awesome. uh d20 plus the ship's agility which is two plus your agility two and mine is also two so that'll be four uh, and yeah, i got a good. 12 total and like in all of Morkborg and Pirateborg, the the dr unless i tell you it's different is always a 12. you can just you don't even have to ask unless i tell you it's different so great, you okay. succeed. So that means you get to you get to move um, one extra hex. Uh, one extra hex, yes. Yeah. So boom, great. Um, well, and I'll be then, like, well um, done, lads, and I'll I'll toss some grog around because I have grog. <laughs> sure, S squid lips. What do you do on on the executioner's hand? We're still a ways out at this point, right? Where, which, yeah, I think where, the only real, okay. the only, unless you're going to try to shoot, the only real logical option would maybe be come about, but I don't think you really need to turn. I don't think we do either. And we're, we're not, we're not going to shoot because we're going to board, right, Captain? Yeah, you're trying right? to, not to damage her. Ah, well, you could shoot from here, but, you know, I mean, just small do arms. Want, do you want me to? Scare them? Feel the inner boots, squid lips. Sure. I'll shoot at them. Soften them up a little bit. Okay, so, I'm scared. So firing with small arms is basically if you, you have swivel guns in the front or like a musket or something. So go ahead and make a crew check, which I think is a... I don't have the stats right in front of me. I think it's a plus two. Uh, uh, crew. crew skill. Oh, wait, no. Crew skill yes. plus PC presence. Plus, oh, plus PC, yes. PC uh, presence. Okay. 
Oh no, but but the sloops oh. uh crew skill is a minus one. So it's gonna be minus one plus your your presence modifier. Okay. Well that's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you fire, you, you just start in range and your cans, they splash into the water and, and you can see ah. the, sh the crew of the ship looks rather shaken. Uh, you can see them in the distance kind of scurrying. That's um, right. Scurry. Okay, the other ship, We're coming what, for what you. are you guys doing? The Adventurer's uh, we Ghost. We will advance as well. Uh, I'd like to try to move so that we come up on the port side of the ship. Uh, and get ready. Okay, so uh, you get to make for free. You can make up to two hex rotations, no questions asked. So, are you yeah. trying to? You want to come up on the? You want to stay on the port side of the other ship? Is what you're saying? Correct. Yeah. Basically, uh, if I can end the move directly towards them as best as possible, and then shit, uh, rotate port uh, once, so that I can, we can kind of gotcha. get a like. Uh, uh, uh like this so, yeah there we go because now we can try to fire some yeah, broadsides yeah. okay great uh and one thing to know about this naval combat system is it's not like character death if you sink a ship if you sink a ship like the final uh or if you get rid of all its hit points that derelicts the ship uh, you don't have to worry about like over killing it and then if you shoot it again it will roll on like basically a death save table kind of thing um, so if your goal is to shoot it into being still, you can always do that. That's an option. All right. Uh, so, yes, uh, that will be my action to try to uh, light the cannons and uh, hopefully... So you're you're uh, going to fire the broadsides, yeah. Hopefully do some damage to their rigging so that they slow down. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and, and make a. Uh, you're gonna. It's gonna be d20 minus one for the group, adding your presence modifier. All right, so minus two because I am not good at this. Uh, but we still get a 17, even nice. with minus two. So. 17. So, yeah, you're. You don't have too many guns, but your your little sloop cannons fire off and make direct uh, contact with this this sloop. Uh, so go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> the old god provides. Five damage. Nice. Five damage. Okay. Great. Very nice. Um, yeah. So a standard sloop has 30 hit points. This one seems to be in good condition. So you've knocked it down a little chunk. Um, but they actually seem. Uh, oh, let's go to D uh, Diego. What do you, Doug, what do you want to do with your turn before we go any further? I'm, I'm trying to see what, what I have here for, for actions. So it looks like. Um, I, so you could fire small arms. Um, you could go full sail to move an extra hex, um, but that would probably put you further away than where you want. You could also turn right. back using the come about action. Um, do you, you could repair, cast a spell? Yeah, let's do the small arms, I guess, because that's that's probably what's gonna. All right, um, so it's a minus one plus your presence modifier. Yeah, which is minus two. Yeah, that's a six. That's nothing. That's. That's not going to succeed. Six. Oh yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you pull out your musket and you command your guys to fire. And, ah, you scurvy dogs and be missing it, and they ricochet into the water. You know, um, Maybe so if this you ship, stop though, it talking is once in a while, you make a shot. <laughs> um, this ship is a, a little merchant vessel, so it's actually going to make a morale check right now to see how terrified it is of you guys. And it rolls a six, which is well under its morale score. So you can actually see them. They they like let up their rigging, their sails go flapping in the wind, and they raise the white. Uh, and um, we'll we will now roll initiative again, uh, unless you guys think you're just gonna fast forward up to uh, to boarding this thing. What do you guys think, Bailby? I'll go with you since you're like the first captain. I think we go up for boarding. I'm not gonna shoot at them again unless. Uh, Unless uh, Sebastian is going to take another pot shot at them. Oh, I'll take yeah. another shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got to send the right message. Here. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's roll initiative again because uh, they're trying to surrender, but you're not letting them. They rolled a six, which is an eight for initiative. I got a seven. I got an eight as well. Okay. 
Okay, so PCs win ties. So, Sebast, you get to fire your ship's cannons before these guys react. Sounds good. Uh, uh, do you want to move? Uh, yeah, let's let's rotate. Uh, um, Probably one, actually, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, uh, does that give us actually to for another broadside? Um, I like to measure from this guy here yeah so, yeah i don't think so, it's no I think you need to click uh so i guess side. what i will do is i will uh issue an order to diego to to get ready for another volley and i will try to come about to rotate one extra hex uh, well you don't so, you get two so oh we get two. You, you oh, don't well, need then, to rotate one more then there yeah. we go i'm ready so, to pull the so pull the uh the fuse yeah so you can go yeah, ahead and shoot the bright sides yourself yeah <laughs> All right, then I will. I will uh, yeah. let it go. Uh, that is only going to be an eleven, however. Well, not enough. You're you little, you're maneuvering little, too quickly. The ship is rocking in the wind, and yeah, your cannon shots fire over the over the top. Maybe they put on their you know they by letting their sails out, they've kind of lost speed, and you've miscalculated. Um, but then it's their turn, and they're like, they're not. Tr- Trying to do anything, they're literally like jumping them down. Like, oh, we raised the wall. Like, what are you doing? Stop, stop, please don't hurt us. You can see them like waving from the deck. Um, <laughs> all right, Bailby, what are you guys doing? Um, we are going to advance towards them still. Uh, and I will uh make a check to see if I can go full sail again. I'll holler at the guys. Ah, give me full canvas. We need to get up there. Uh, and okay. I rolled a okay. fourteen. That is enough. So you mm-hmm. get a whole, you get an extra movement out of your ship. Um, and, and as you can see, there's kind of like a balancing act here. You need to do as a GM, like how close you put the ships, because you put them too far apart, you're gonna end up doing this for a while. I yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna move our little ships around all night. Um, okay, to park. so <laughs> both. Before we roll initiative again, uh, Sebast, is your ship planning on? Are you intending to fire? Uh no, I, I don't want to risk hitting my, my new friend, Bailey. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, uh, I see uh, he yeah, is cool. intent well, with on, that we on will... actual crossing of swords, so. <laughs> sure. Um, I have him for this with the wrong ship on it, just to kind of show up some more assets, but we can just theater of the mind it. Basically, you guys are going to move in. Wrong ship, so just ignore this. Um but yeah, you guys come in. They raise the the white, and they're like their hands are up, like terrified of you guys. I'm assuming you maybe come up on the two sides or whatever, and they're like, "Ha ha! We, we don't want no, we don't want no no uh, harm done to us. Uh, we surrender." Um, I'll I'll swing across onto their deck. I'll I'll uh, I'll fancy like, and and land amongst them. Uh, where be your treasure? Uh, what treasure, Captain? I mean, sir, what what treasure you be talking about? Well, you must be carrying something, or otherwise you wouldn't have been out here on the water. Um, well, we just can't buy stock. We don't got any treasure, really. I'll look back at Squid Lips on the boat. Oi! What? <laughs> what? We take animals. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> On what? What is it? What kind of animals? I'll look back over my shoulder to the guy in the crew. Uh, <laughs> what kind of animals you be carrying? Uh, mostly goats, a few cattle. And we got the ship's dog, too, if, if, if you really, really want to take him. But his name's Ruffles, or we, we kind of like him. <laughs> I'll holler back at Squid Lips. He says they've got goats. We need goats for anything. No. I'll just no. stand there scratching my head. <laughs> hey. Okay, what Sebastian hey, Diego? How about how, about, you, guys how about you guys? Do you want any goats? <laughs> or some cattle? I will look down at Diego. <laughs> What did they say? They want us. They 
Do we want any gold? Is that what they said? They're calling us the goats. Oh, we're the goats. We're yes, the we are the goats. Of all time. The you goats. saw that shot. We are you the saw that shot. <laughs> That's right. That's Ignore not what I said. One. That's not. They Our have... reputation precedes us. They have it's goats the and cattle. Uh, I will actually activate my relic that my character has. I will pull a crystalline skull out from my 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 pack and and kind of focus on it a little bit. Um, and this actually lets me um, hear uh, the so the crystal skull can hear and repeat the words of someone nearby. Um, kind of what's going on in their in their brain. So uh, I'm gonna kind of focus on the the opposing captain and see if they may be trying to hide something and see what the crystal scale uh, talks and tells me. Great. So just a real quick aside here on the magic system in Pyroborg, there are two kinds. There are relics and there are ar uh, arcane rituals. And the relics, they're items that you hold and they automatically go off. You don't have to test to use them. But then after after you use them, you have to roll to see if they stun you, meaning like you use them wrong and you're stupid, um, and whether you can use them again. And if you fumble that roll, they will be destroyed, whereas arcane rituals <laughs> are much more powerful and destructive if failed. Um, so you this passes. Can you read me the read me the text of the the crystal skull again? Uh, yes, uh, I've got my 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 cheat notes that I wrote. Um, it's uh, the skull can hear and then repeat the words uh, uh, that another uh, person is thinking. Uh, it is um, and it is active for my spirit plus d6 minutes. Yes. Uh, okay, so go ahead and make a d6 plus spirit check. Spirit is All a right. new ability in Pirate Borg that represents your ability to access the arcane and unnatural. Uh, so I rolled a one, so uh, my spirit is a two, so I'm gonna get three minutes of telepathy. Three minutes, to yeah. listen okay, in so on this. This, this crystal group. skull, like you know, it doesn't communicate verbally, only you can hear it, but in your head, it's like this yo man nice score you got some totally like you guys sack this ship, like great job, yeah. So, anyway, like, yo, this guy, this is what he's saying right now, he's like. Please don't go in the hold. Please don't go in the hold. Please don't go in the hold. Please leave us our treasure. Please leave us our treasure. He just won't stop, man. You like, dude, you guys caught this guy. Yeah, so good luck, dude. Yeah, later. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> uh, do I test now to see if this thing uh, breaks or backlashes on me? Um, yeah, well, I'm going to say that you're going to okay. test. You can test now to know, but it's going to work for the full. The, actually, no, let's sure. test. After the three yeah. minutes, we'll test. All right. Uh, so I will relay that uh, uh, to Diego that uh, I think there may be something beneath the deck on this ship uh, worth investigating. Would you uh, do the honors? Go, go help, go help Bailby retrieve whatever this merchants are carrying. All right. I gotta go and deal with this guy. I tell you, like, oh my god! All right, Diego, I would like you to make me a D twelve and a D eight check. All tell right. me the results of both. Like I said, normally I would, I really like to hide randomness for my players, but we're just showing off these some of these uh, random tools that we've got for Pirate Borg. So the D twelve is a ten, and the D eight is a two. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so uh, you make your way into the lower part of the ship, and there are three crates. Um, it, you know, the ship is dark. Uh, the hold is dark. Um, you can see the sunlight kind of filtering in through the sides, cutting through the to make these like forty-five degree angles. But there are these three crates that, like, you could swear they're almost like glistening or glowing in the darkness. Um, almost shimmering, if you will. Um, and as he's downstairs, uh, the three of you up top and your crew, you can notice that some of the crew are very, very on edge. What do you do? 
Mm. So I'm the am I the only one that's down down there with the so far, yeah. So far, mm-hmm. um, so far, I also have this. Unless someone I have this, else wants to go, I have this. I'm good on called, I'm good on deck. I'm I'm just trying good. to figure out what the hell we're gonna do with a bunch of goats. You eat them. Ew. And do you, what? Do you do you see a bunch of goats down there too? Oh, nice, oh, nice. Oh, look, there more goats. So nice. <laughs> um. So I I have clairvoyance. Which means I can ask spirits a question uh-huh. in an adjacent room or area, but it's mm-hmm. a D. It's a so can can I uh, can I try to tap into that? And since I'm all alone down here by myself, I'm gonna like kind of start. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the spirits of the goats. Start start talking to the spirits spirit realm. Of dead goats. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a fabulous <laughs> I, this idea to me. So you're gonna use your clairvoyance <laughs> to. Ask the spirits a question about an adjacent room or area. This could be the room that you're in. Uh, okay. And though their answer may be a lie. So your your test will be to know whether you know they're lying or not. What do you want to ask the spirits about this room? I'll be like, what's, what's, what's a big... Any idea what that, that glowing thing is over there? Those glowing crates over there? That seems kind of odd. Like, that doesn't seem natural over there. Is that is that something from your realm over that you can uh, let me know what that is. Um, just to refresh my memory. Is it the ghost of your wife that haunts you? Um, it's some sort of uh, some sort of loved one. So I, I will say it's probably. We'll say it's it's someone that I was going to marry, and uh, and and ah, she was uh, she, a betrothed. She, she passed away. Yes, and and I have I have this uh, this tattoo of her on my uh, on my shoulder that uh, you know. I, when I when I tap into and try to talk to, into this uh, spirit realm, and I I, I kind of hold it dearly and and I try to uh, try to connect with them. And I don't know if it's actually her or not. It's just something that uh, appeared to me, and and it could all be in my mind. It could be like a, a, <laughs> it's all a part pulse. of his okay, insanity. Yeah, because I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of the uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh no, sorry. There's a there's lag. So I, I just have one more question. Do you know her name? Um, I. Um, I don't. Not off the top of my head. Okay, we're gonna call her Esmeralda. So, Esmeralda, sure. Um, so you walk in. You know, you've maybe you've got your scimitar out, maybe a lantern. You see these glowing crates, and you can feel like you kind of tap into this ethereal uh, essence that the clairvoyance gives you, and you can feel your tattoo tingle and come to life like it has many times before. And the voice of Esmeralda speaks out of the tattoo, and she says, "Oh, Digi." Diggy, 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 I don't like this at all. I think that those crates are filled with with some form of evil, necrotic, undead dust. I don't like it at all. I think you should get out of here right away. And now make me a spear check to see whether you believe the spirit of Esmeralda from your tattoo. Uh, that is a 10. So, um... so you do not know whether you believe her or not. You uh, added your modifier to that, right? Yeah, I did add my modifier to that. Oof. Uh, I'm gonna pause as a, as I'm as I'm walking around the the, the down. I, I'm gonna pause for a second, and I'm gonna look back up and go and know that even if I go up there, I'm gonna have to deal with was it Bailey. Bailby. 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 I don't know it's if right that, there that's... on the screen. Yeah, no, no. Well, it's, it's, sh- it's smaller <laughs> on my screen. Um, so I, I, I look up knowing that I'm going to have to deal with Bailby. And I'm just going to start looking around the, 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 this this lower level a little bit more before I go up, go look at that. Uh, now, I, crates. I do want to pause here real quick um, and say that we did not talk about devil's luck which is uh it's the same thing as omens and morkborg devil's luck can let you do several things you can do max damage on an attack re-roll any die roll uh four damage or minus six damage i think uh change the dr by minus four or cancel a crit or fumble i want everybody to look at your sheet and roll your daily devil's luck to know how many of those points you have um, uh, mine came with two sorcerer, already. Or no, D- it, oh, maybe right. it came D2, with D yep. two. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Diego, you have a D four. So go ahead and roll me a D four, uh, Doug, and let me know if you. So I guess 
something you know that if you want to spend these this point sure. to change your role so since it's a one shot you know and we don't have a ton of time left you you could probably you could go nuts if you yeah why don't, why don't i do that why don't do i it. use because uh, i i rolled the three so i'll, I'll use one of those uh, okay so you have three and... devils so you're going to use one of your devil's luck um and you are going to i mean you're going to lower the dr of that spirit test by four i'm assuming yeah okay yep nice because you rolled a 10. yes i did yep so, so that, that lowers it to an eight so you it. pass all of a sudden you don't really you feel like Esmeralda's words are cryptic and hard to understand but all of a sudden pangs of truth like surge from her tattoo into your body and you really are like certain that she's speaking truthfully at least about these crates being filled with something undead in nature oh uh, okay Ugh, I... when i get that feeling i'm, I'm gonna go back up up to the uh, upper level where where Bailby is and uh i'll, I'll let uh I'll, I'll say, Belby, there's some unnatural goods down here in this uh, lower level. Uh, they're not uh, they're not divulging everything that they have on on board. But so, like the, the goats are de like demon goats. <laughs> where's where's Squidlips? I I can't take him. What? What? Hey, what? Squidlips. <laughs> what? How do you get along with this guy? I can't uh, I can't deal with him. I, I can I, still I, hear you, Diego. It's oh, I was, I was talking. I was talking to my crewmate. Uh, I wasn't talking to you. I was. I wasn't talking about you, Bailby. Um, Squidlips. There's like some sort of crates downstairs that have uh, some sort of evil presence in them. That the crew Who definitely presents? is trying to. The the wait, the uh, Captain. Definitely... No, that's not what that. It's not what that means. I'm... Yeah. Evil so... crates. Yeah, this 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 crew is definitely not uh, not divulging everything that they they have on. There's there's more stuff down here than they're. they're but there they're are crates, on. not just goats. Oh, crates of goats. There are goats it's and goats. goats and crates, and the crates are evil. Am I following this? There's there's something there's something <laughs> really evil about these crates. Evil goat crates. I don't know what it is exactly. There's just something that speaks to me that says that these are An no evil good. goat. No offense, Diego, but uh, a lot of things seem to speak to you all the time. I'm not sure if I should be listening. Well, they, Captain, they haven't led me astray yet. Captain, do you want to check out the crates? You're gonna. Oh, I, I'm always, a, I'm always, a, always a fan of opening a box. Presents are nice. I like presents. I'm... The captain wants to open the crates. Uh, all right. Well, I'll let you open the crates. I will. I will tromp off down the stairs. <laughs> I'm gonna go over back over to our ship and uh, talk to Sebastian. I'll order you be a coward. <laughs> Did you find my friends? The goats? No, my friends. The sticks with the the oil cloth wrapped around them. No. Uh, I find found it. evil crates. The, the crew definitely has more things besides goats on that ship, and I don't have a good feeling about what they're carrying for cargo. They have I my sent... Friends. I will liberate my friends from them, and I will head on over to the the other ship. No, no, be, be careful! <laughs> and down into the down into the hold after after Bailby. Um, okay, yeah. Bailby so, will be you, at you, one you of the crates, on a... and uh, he he has he has a gold coin that he always has with him. That's his that's his heirloom. And he'll be, it's the only thing he has that could possibly pry open a crate. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't even looked for a tool. He'll, he'll be sitting there what? trying to wiggle this gold coin underneath Cap the edge of Cap one of the crates. Captain, <laughs> Captain, do you need help? I, I don't not need help. All right. Do I, what do I have for, I don't have anything. 
useful. I'm going to look around the ship for something useful to pry open one of these crates with. I have a cat of nine tails. I'm pretty sure that's not going to help me open a crate. That is not. <laughs> gonna, you're going to slowly beat I'll just the whip crate. It. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the, the whip Squid. will give out before the crate will. Squid Lips making me a presence check to kind of uh, survey the room. All right. <clears throat> that is a 16. You actually find a crowbar for exactly this purpose, leaning up against one of the beams of the <laughs> ship, uh, right against the hull. It was right over there. You're, Here you go, Captain. I think it's almost like you look at the captain with the coin. And he's like on his knees, like, and you just like <laughs> turn, and like right next to him is a crowbar, and you turn to look back at him. And... I'll, I'll I'll take the <laughs> crowbar from Squid Lips. I suppose I could use this, but. I mean, I, it seems a little like bit sacrilegious would... to use it on a crate of goats if it's crowbar. And I'll stick okay, it so into I have, the crate I and start trying to... An important story question here. How long do you think each of you has been in the Dark Caribbean? Are you Have you been here for a while, as in a few months, or are you all recent arrivers? Raise your hand if you think uh... you've been here for more than a year. Uh, oh, yeah, gonna... for sure. Yeah, I'll go for more than a year. Yeah, I'll say that I have been as well. I've been drunk in gutters so, for more than a it, year. <laughs> okay, so Bailby, Diego, are you Diego? Are you down in the hall right now? The whole no, I'm still up on top of the because I know okay, that so the, Bailby, there's there's you, some bad juju going on. Yeah, sure, Bailby, you take this crowbar and you crack open this thing, and I mean this is basically like uh, the lighting would be similar to like Indiana Jones when he's looking at that golden idol. But it's not gold. It's this pale, uh, ghostly blue, just sheen over everything. And inside this crate, you, it's you know, it's a two by two, three by three solid crate. It is full of white ectoplasmic powder, which you know is the artifact left behind from killing some of the undead that just have really wrecked this place. But a few months ago. Um, some discovered, you don't know how, that this ectoplasmic dust has uh, psychoactive properties. It is uh, used as a psychedelic. Uh, it is used as a uh, like athletic stimulant, and it is worth more than its weight in gold on the black market, which uh, coincidentally has developed around Tortuga, um, which as a <clears throat> fairly reputable pirate... You know Tortuga is the worst like bucket of scum in the Caribbean. Respectable pirates don't go there. Non pirates don't don't even go near there. But you know that these okay. crates are worth a bunch. Uh, they're highly uh, psychoactive, um, and they, they come from the undead. So, okay. Um, as soon as I see what it is. I'll stop prying with the crowbar. Like, I'm not going to pop the whole crate open. I'll just have it, like, wedged open a little bit. Um, and I'll turn back and uh, look at Squid Lips. I'll be, Oi, Squid Lips, look, it's, it's, it's the good stuff. And I'll take, and I'll, I'll take a pinch and I'll sprinkle it in my grog. <laughs> I'm like, Oi, it's flavor for me, grog. And then I'll take a swig. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, so I guess this was uh, worth okay, so, boarding uh, for. <laughs> this stuff, this, yeah, this stuff, uh, you know, is called ash. That's like the street drug name for it. Um, you're like, yeah, baby. And you are going to receive a uh, plus one to all your physical stats for the Ooh. near future. You do not know the downside, though. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. yeah. No. I, <laughs> did you think you would remember the downside? <laughs> no. So I guess we'll be taking these aboard, yeah. Captain. Oh, I squid lips. We'll be taking these, but we'll maybe give the goats to Sebastian this one. Diego okay. looked a little bit terrified of the goats. Anyway, it'll be funny. <laughs> okay, then I'll uh, grab onto the crate and start hauling it up. Um, I won't take a crate. I'll just um, go back I... up on deck myself, and I'll I'll look at the All crew right, and be fine. like, "Fine, no, it's fine. I don't need help." <laughs> the thunk, the thunk. It's fine. I got it. She, puffs of dust flying everywhere. She's just getting stronger as she comes up. No, I latched it. It's yeah, fine. You, I, as you guys 
guys emerge into the sunlight, you guys, you know, you guys are almost glowing yourselves, you know, and the <laughs> the crew of this ship is like biting their nails. Diego, Sebastian, you can see that like some of them are mm. talking in the background. They have their hands on their uh, like kind of tucked under their shirts and stuff. Uh, they're like <laughs> getting a little anxious. You can tell. Um, what do you guys want to do? Um, I will uh, take one more swig of my grog and I'll pull out my cat of nine tails and I'll pour the rest on my cat of nine tails because my grog actually functions as a poison. <laughs> 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 and I'll just start snapping it around on the deck a little bit. Like, don't even think about it. <laughs> sure. Watch you can keep the goats. Watch swinging that thing. <laughs> um, okay, well, with that, um, with that, one of the pirates in the back, who is a, actually, you realize now, uh, was in disguise dread pirate lord. Um, oh. He... He has a pet bird on his shoulder, and he is wielding a rusty knife. Um, and you look at him, and you know, as soon as you look like, at the corner of your eye, Bailby, you recognize this guy, and you realize that this is um, none other than Scurvy Knife. Uh, his, let's see his last name. His name is Scurvy <laughs> Knife. His name is Le, Scurvy, Scurvy Knife LeBlanc. Nice. I, I did. It. I didn't make that up. He rolled a knife, <laughs> and his name is Scurvy Knife. So it's Scurvy Knife <laughs> LeBlanc, the famous Dread Pirate Lord, and him and his men are are actually Tortuga pirates, and they are not happy that you're trying to like. They're trying to like sneakily run this these crates in a really low profile profile ship, and you like stopped them. At the worst possible time, and uh, um, so him and his scallywags, uh, they uh, they pull out knives at you guys, and they go to attack. So we're gonna do a combat here. Uh, oh, I would geez. like, I would like, um, we'll we'll say because Bailey, because you recognize him, I want you to me roll me a d six, and you'll decide a uh, four, five, six. You guys will go first. One, two, three. They'll go first. Uh, I got a six. Six. All right, you guys are up. So you can see uh, uh, scurvy knife. Um, what did I say? What did I say? Le scurvy knife LeBlanc. He he LeBlanc. is pulled his knife blade. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? Um. Uh, actually, let me have a quick look at my character just to make sure here. Uh, okay. Um, I am go uh, am I close enough to hit him with my cat of nine tails? Uh, you could certainly move close enough to. Okay. Um, being the this is basically like a sit down ever. fool. You know, you're like gonna go up. Yeah. And <laughs> I am going to rush forward and take my cat of nine tails over my head. It's soaked in my grog and snap it right at his face. All right, uh, great. So, ow. like I said, it's always dr twelve. Uh, you're making a strength check. So unless you have some special okay. ability from being a brute, it's going to be a, a DR12 to hit. And then you'll roll damage. I got a 19. Actually, no, a 20. Uh, I rolled a 20, and I have that plus one bonus from the dust right now, so it cancels out my strength negative. Okay, great. But it's a dirty 20, right? It's a dirty Not 20, a yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. okay, great. So yeah, we'll go ahead and roll damage. And it does a D4 damage. Do I get a bonus damage on that from having the bonus stat or no? Uh, sure. <laughs> so that'd be three damage and I'll roll the difficulty on the poison here to see if that does anything. Or do they have to roll that? Um, what? Uh, it, we'll it's a toughness DR 14. Or... More fun. Okay. All right. I'll yeah, you, you can go uh, ahead and go. roll it. Why not? I mean, you know the numbers, Ooh, that, so who cares who rolls it, you know? That does not work at all. He just gets a little bit sloppy wet when I snap him in the head. <laughs> yeah, so Scurvy Knife, he does it. So this guy, he's got a scraggly, really thinned out beard. He's clearly had scurvy many times. He's missing teeth, almost jaundice. He says, I, I bail me, you may recognize me, the Scurvy Knife. Oh, oh, hey, back up off with that whip thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh and he he kind of wipes off your your poisonous grog but he does take uh uh three damage right three yep yeah okay three whole uh, points you guys can just go in in any order that you want if you guys can't decide we can roll for it but i think you can figure it out 
I'll shout back to Squid Lips. Sorry, Squid Lips, get take him. <laughs> what? What? All right. Do you want me to you have a better so, uh, put down the box? We're gonna say. Do you for, want me to put? Do, we're gonna do say you want me to put down the box? Yes. <laughs> oh, all right. So I'll I'll put down the crate and then I'll fire my musket. So for our purposes, we're, and you, this run this happens a lot in uh, in Pirate Borg. Um, I like to play that we're just we're caring about the characters that matter versus the characters they're fighting. There might be twenty other crew involved in this combat, but we're going to say for our purposes that there it's uh, scurvy knife and three of his henchmen and the four of you guys. So like a one to one. Sounds good. Sure. All right, I will I will fire my musket. Uh, I'm not going to fire directly at scurvy knife. I'll fire at one of his henchmen. Gotcha. All right, so it's a DR12. I think you might have an update, uh, an out of date. Um, oh no! Uh, what's it called? Buccaneer. Um, and that oh, that's you're possible. Oh, the Buccaneer's, the Buccaneer's core ability now is that you can reload every other. It takes you one turn to reload instead of two. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So good to uh, know. And I, what what was the ability that you rolled? What does it say on your under abilities? Abilities. I uh, yeah. Um, wait. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't know where things are on this sheet, so that doesn't help me much. So, either. like on the on the far like right, it should be right here uh, under your name. Okie dokie. Under my name, it says. Uh, let's see. It's. I just have features yes yes okay all right that says i have a musket i start with a musket my attacks are with it are dr10 to hit yeah so that's uh, sorry that's out of date so instead of the being oh, no. DR10, <laughs> DR12, but but you but you can reload it every other round instead of taking two rounds but okay that's keep going good. what's the next what's the next the next thing says Good lips crack, be an old or, model. Buccaneer. I am an old model <laughs> buccaneer. It says crack shot. All range yeah. attacks are DR eight. Okay, so that is now DR twin. So DR ten. Basically, okay. you can reload every other round, and you're DR ten. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I, basically, it was like it, it just takes too long to reload, so we made that the core ability, uh, so that you can shoot more frequently. So that makes sense. That's a good good idea. Okay, so I will uh, shoot at this guy then. The one of Great. the so he's dr one of the henchmen. dr ten to hit one of the henchmen. Great dr ten to hit. Excellent. I got a. What am I adding to this? Your oh, you just presence. you need to add your presence. Yes, just presence. presence. Okay, fourteen. That hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Damage is 2d6, according to this. That's correct. And that is going to be an 8. How does he die? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that I, I blow a great big chunk out of the middle of him. <laughs> yes, so it almost yeah, looks like I, a scurvy. shark bite. This is very, like, scurvy is like... Arr, bell be a scurvy dog and then like poof, and he just falls over dead you know and he's like Arr, not cool man not cool <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, Sebastian Diego uh, I'm going to scamper off and go under a uh, uh, blow deck because I need to see, see wait, what wait. this was myself uh, oh, so okay. You're on the you ship with now. Us now. I was like, yep. you better not be going below deck on your own ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no. Squidlips, you brought up the crate that Bailby had opened. Yes. yes. You closed it and brought that one up. It's not currently open. Yep. So, right, right. Sebastian, right. you see two glowing, two glowing clay crates that are with a faint blue light silhouetting a whatever the, the term for a pack of goats is. Excellent. Do I see any torches? You see no torch. There is no open flame aboard a sailing ship. But are there, like, not lit torches? <laughs> Lan oh, there are probably some not lit lanterns, yes. I would not say mm. torches, though. All right. Mm. My friends are not here. 
I guess I'll take one of these uh, crates then. Okay, you're picking up one of these big crates, so that's yes. basically filling all of your inventory slots to carry this thing, if you will. Oh yes, we're gonna waddle back up. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, you're, so we'll say you get down well, in the time you get down, and you get back up, and you're just just now cresting to the top deck. Doug, what's Diego doing? So Diego's uh, talking to Esmeralda at this point, and uh, he's he's. Uh, uh -huh. Like it's like I know I told them to just leave it alone and they didn't listen to me and this is what's gonna happen. But I know, honey. Hey, I know you told me that they shouldn't touch that stuff. And and Diego, while he's like, I tried to warn you. I tried right, to warn you. I I know. I know. And while he's like having this conversation, he just he pulls out his uh, his uh, flintlock pistol and uh, starts shooting uh, one of the other. Uh, not not the Henchman? not not scurvy blade yeah whatever what his name is yes yeah, scurvy knife yeah okay scurvy yeah, knife go, not okay, scurvy go. knife but he's gonna dr12 presence check to see if you hit there are uh, two that is a six that is a 16 16 will definitely hit roll damage and he hits for five Wow. Okay, so this guy is not totally dead, but he is. You blast him like in his larynx or whatever, and he he's like, uh, he he is very mortally wounded, although not not yet dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, and then we're gonna we're gonna have them go. Um, so, uh, rusty knife or scurvy knife? Excuse me. Forgive me, please. Um, <laughs> scurvy knife. Immediately, he's gonna come after you, Bailby, for hitting him with that whip. Um, so, uh, Mork Borg, Pirate Borg, you uh, DMs do not roll damage uh, or roll attacks. Players roll to dodge. So you're gonna make an agility check, which is gonna be a DR twelve. Um, and I'm just going to tell you his damage dice, and you can roll that at the same time and apply the damage yourself. Should, should you so choose. Um, let me pull my my stats for him back up because I could let them get away from me here. Uh, so he has a rust. So it's only a D4. He's he's not fully armed. So you can just roll a D12 and a D4, and if you get under your agility score, you take D4 damage. Is it is Bailby? Bailby? Oh, sorry. I thought you were attacking Diego. <laughs> that's why I was. That's no, no, why I'm you, watching. You came at him. Diego. I'm like, why isn't he yeah. moving? <laughs> no, you came at him with the whip, so he's coming after you. All right. Uh, why you always I... go for the treasure and not the pirates? Okay, I am going to use my devil's luck to. Uh... <laughs> I can change a critical hit, right? I can negate a critical hit. What, okay, so if you rolled a I, crit, that's good. It, a fumble would be bad. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm good then. <laughs> I rolled yeah, 20. So. Okay, so um, um, i got to refresh my memory on what a crit does on defending. Um, a crit on defense, you gain a free attack against him. So you dodge out of the oh. way, and then okay. you make a free attack. I will attempt yeah, the to fumble the one that you want to avoid because he'll do he'll do double damage and your armor will get reduced if you have any. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I will try to snap him in the in the face again. Get that get that pretty scurvy face. Yeah, do it. Dr. Twelve. Uh, I got a fifteen for three damage, and yeah, I'll roll and what, the poison your, as well. Is that a every attack thing? The poison? I can't uh, no, that's that's just the cat of nine tails. That's D four. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, but the the, the grog uh, soaked part of oh, the, it. Um, well, it doesn't really have a duration on it, so I guess that's up to you. <laughs> Maybe something I should think about. We'll say it's still soaked in grog, because why not? Okay, I will roll that now then. Uh, it doesn't do anything this time either, so I'm just I'm slathering <laughs> him in grog. <laughs> just covered in grog. How much damage? How much How much damage did you I did do three. with the? Uh, Three. Okay, so yeah, he yeah. you actually whip him pretty good, and he he is ah, like, Bailby, don't treat me like that. Uh, he's not too happy about it. Um, we're gonna go to uh, one of the other uh, henchmen, of which there are two left. One's gonna come running towards you, Squidlips, after having shot his buddy. And he's I mean, not fair. very happy about this. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, he's wielding a scimitar, so I need you to make a DR12 D6 uh, dodge. So you can make an agility check. Like I said, if you want to roll D6 with it, uh, you can automatically know how much damage you will take. Well, I rolled a 17 on my agility check. You, you uh, very uh, swashbucklerly dodge out of the way of his scimitar, uh, and it goes wide. Um, the one that's on its last, his last legs, though, uh, he's not feeling well at all. But he is also uh, going to come over to you, Squid Lips, and he's going to make attack. And he's got a cutlass, uh, a little ah! less uh, a, 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 a Arabian, scary looking and more officer looking, but it's also a D6. Okay. I, I got a 17 to dodge again, because apparently oh, that's the number my die wants yeah. to roll tonight. Yeah, you're squid just Lips hopping around the, the agility of an angry squid. Aha! Huh. Exactly, yeah, yeah. All right, your guys is a uh, your guys is move again. There are there are two henchmen and the cap uh, squid lips left, or squid squid lips is you, uh, rusty. rusty what's it called? Scurvy knife. Sorry. Scurvy knife. Yeah. Scurvy, scurvy knife. knife. Scurvy knife. Too, many, too many pirate names here. <laughs> um, I will take another swing at uh, <laughs> scurvy knife. Um, I'll I'll bring back the weapon. I'm like, how are you doing now, scurvy? <laughs> He's just, uh, just going at him with this. I like how you're just beating him in the face. Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, Cat at Nine Tails, it's not, like a, it's not like an Indiana Jones whip. It's like, you know, it's no. really small. Yeah, it's, it's like got like little pointy bits on it usually. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so I hit him again for another three points. All right. How does he die? <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, the Cat of Nine Tails gets like tangled up in his beard. And when I rip it back, it just yanks all of his lower jaw off with it. He's just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's gross. Oh. It's very gross. But hey, they got away with it in the Golden Compass. It's still PG thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, with that, there uh, the rest of the crew are going to take morale checks. The first guy just rolls make a sure seven. It's a wide shot, and you can get yeah. away with it. Yeah. <laughs> Fail. They both, the, the whole crew is now, they surrender. They fall to their knees. Please, no more. Please, please. Um, uh, and I guess just real quickly, what, what do you guys want to do now? Do you want to uh, take cargo and leave? Are you trying to take their ship? Are you trying to, what, what would you do now? I think we'd be taking the ship. What, um, uh, Captain, can I just uh, have your ear here for a moment? I come closer. You I... can barely you can barely run one ship. What are we going to do with have the you, whole squid lips. Oh no 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 no. Promote, if I wanted yeah. to be if I wanted to be captain, I would be captain. I don't want to be Barely certain what? I've just been threatened. <laughs> why don't we? Why don't we just take take this stuff? Do you really want a mutiny on your hands when all of these we just killed their captain? Do you think they're going to be loyal to you? Yes, out of fear. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> How about we just take the highly valuable cargo and continue on, and leave? What their do we ship? do with the crew? We, we leave them. We can punch we a hole them. in the ship and we can go. There's only two of them left. No, there's a bunch more of them. There were just two fights. Yeah, there's only, there's only two oh, as I, far as the combat. I, yes. yeah. It would be funnier thematically if there were only two. Because I was gonna, <laughs> literally only two. I was going to say, well, how are they supposed to get back to port? Are the goats going to crew the ship? <laughs> I don't care if they get back to port. That's not my concern. We're just going to take I, their stuff. I, um, I'll look back at our ship. Um, and I'll get two of the crewmen to come over uh, on onto this onto onto the ship we're on right now, um, and I will tell them to disable the rudder. Oh, all right, uh, Captain, right away! I'll disable rudder right away. Hold one second, Captain. He, he goes off and see him. All right, Captain, sleeps rudder right disabled, ship. Okay, now <laughs> crates on the boat. Back to our boat. Yeah. Be back to the executioner's yeah. okay. hand. Okay, okay, you and maybe take a couple of crates. Oh, three, three yes. your boat, sir. 
Well, okay, right. Oh, yeah, right. Later. Sebastian has one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sebastian, yeah. One, 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 to, one to Captain Sebastian. So there's only yeah. two crates left. There's yeah. only two okay. crates left, sir. Yeah. Okay. Two, two on ours. Okay, and yeah, we're loaded. Oh, yeah. And and we'll we'll let you we'll let the we'll let them live. Excellent. All right, you guys are now in possession of two crates of ectoplasmic dust, also known as ash on the street. Uh Sebast, your ship is in possession of one ectoplasmic crate of ash. Um, and you guys leave these uh, you know, Tortuga pirates to their own devices. I'm taking the scurvy's knife too. Oh, you are in possession of one rusty knife, uh, formerly owned by uh, Scurvy LeBlanc, Scurvy. Scurvy Knife LeBlanc. The, the, the Dread, Dread Pirate. Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and that's right. another thing about Pirate Borg. You know, you're going to have like important NPCs, seven hit points, because you have four. You know, that's how yeah. it goes. Well, I have three, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Morgan Borg. Um, Okay, so we're going to cut forward here. Um, you know, normally we could do... Actually, here, let's do one uh, maritime event at sea just Ooh. to see what you guys encounter along the way. Um, why don't you... Sea, that's um, never bad, right? Yeah. Oh, no, they're actually... Sometimes they're rather good. <laughs> we'll see. She, um, she was how being about sarcastic. who hasn't rolled much? Uh, Doug, why don't you make uh, me a yeah. D20? Sure. Just, just the D twenty. Normally, I would roll this behind the screen, but you know, we're doing it for the. We're having fun. I, here, and I actually, here, that... why don't you? Can you, can you throw me up on the share screen, and I'll show off this table. Yes, yeah. it's fun. Uh... <clears throat> and what was your roll? Um, it was a one. I really wanted you to roll an ele <laughs> eleven. Okay, uh, that's bad. Yeah, no, a I figured huge, it was. Of course it is. A a huge shark or sea monster harasses the hall. Everybody on your ship, Doug, has to make DR12 agility checks or get thrown overboard. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh you know, I'm going to use I'm going to use one of my devil's luck point. Uh, <laughs> to, Into the drink was you go. <laughs> that means I'm just going to re-roll it, right? Yeah, you can I mean, what would you roll? A four. Oh yeah, you need to re-roll that. Yeah, bad boy. you're going yeah. swimming. <laughs> the uh, the second time I got a fourteen, so that was good. Okay, yeah. So you're you're the, the ship rocks back and forth. You guys think maybe you hit some car uh, some coral or something? Uh, Sebastian, would you roll? Uh, I got an eighteen. Okay, so this was late at night. Not such a, you know, you guys the moon is kind of shimmering on the ocean. You guys are all having a drink on deck, and then you just see this black mass ass rise and knock the side of the ship but you all hold on okay and it doesn't harass you anymore that evening um with that we will fast forward to you arrive off the coast of this uh, small little island island in the bahamas um where you are aware that this derelict ship has been uh, reported um i have a little uh little do i have a scene here i thought i had a scene yes here we go a little visual aid um it looks like this there you go uh you Ooh. know if you're playing in vtt you guys could actually be exploring this thing we won't be doing that today just kind of want to show it off for people who are might actually be running this on a longer campaign but yes um but this is the, the ship this is this is the derelict ship, and we're gonna we're gonna show off our our final generator for the evening, which is the derelict ship generator. So we already know that it's a galleon. It is on the beach, um, but I would like uh, we're gonna just go round robin, and you guys uh, roll me off some rolls here. Doug, make me a D eight. Sebast, make me a D eight. Uh, Bailby, make me a D twelve, and Squidlips, make me a D twelve. So I I get a six on my on that my roll okay so it's very clear that this ship was destroyed in a in some form of naval combat you can see chunks of the hull are missing it has been shot to death um and and then wrecked on this beach okay um sebast i got a three okay uh bailby I got an eight. Okay, great. I like that one. 
I'll share it as we get inside. <laughs> Squid Lips. Nine. I like this one a lot. <laughs> oh no. Okay. And then um okay, and the Doug make me a D eight and Sebast make me a D twenty. And Bailby make me a D six. Like I said, normally I would roll these before the game, but this is the fun part. Because I don't I don't know what's gonna happen either, so I'm I'm playing along with you guys. So I, uh, I Doug, rolled that a, was two. a D8 roll, right? Yep. Okay. No, it was a two. Okay. Sixteen okay. Uh, on D twenty. Sixteen. Okay. Um okay. And how about the D six roll? Uh, I got a five. Five. Okay. So you guys, uh, you know, your ship is pretty small. You can get pretty close to land without needing a ship's boat to get in. But you're, you know, you're mm. maybe moored a couple hundred feet off of the coast. Um, and you see this sideways wreck sitting on the on the beach big old galleon of a different of a previous era they don't really make these kinds of ships anymore probably spanish in origin clearly destroyed in naval combat um washed up there's debris and wreckage everywhere you know the masts are kind of washing against the the shore uh, what do you guys want to do um i guess we will hop in a do we have a long boat i guess yeah you probably have like a little dinghy the size of your ship. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, uh... I'll, uh, aye, ye crew dogs, lower the longboat, bring me going ashore. It's really more like a, a rowboat, but yes, sir, hop on in. <laughs> it's as long as I want it to be, Squid Lips. All right, you keep telling yourself that. <laughs> yeah, and as you guys, you guys pile in your rowboat, ding your longboat. Or... As the captain calls it, make your way to shore. What's the other <laughs> ship doing? Sebastian, what are you guys doing? Uh, same thing. Prep, uh, prep our dinghy to, to go ashore and see what the see what we can loot. Okay. Um, you guys make your way up under the beach, uh, and you can see that there's a big opening that kind of is the center of this this galleon. Um, but, you know, there's not a whole lot you can tell uh, from the outside other than it's definitely been attacked. All right. Um, Is there a large, like, hole that we can get into? Yeah, there's a big opening here right in the uh, this center here. Is, Might is as well. Clearly, like, the, the whole Check top deck out, is then. missing. Yeah. I nice. Think I have a, if I give you a... See here. Oh, yeah, here. I've got a module for this. So that you can actually see what it looks on the outside, and then when you go in, it'll kind of uh, reveal. Uh, it's fancy. Uh, nice. Oh, cool! Fancy, huh? Very fancy. Yeah. Welcome to my foundry fun. world. This is <laughs> smashing. Not a I normal know, morkboard know thing, well. but this is <laughs> yeah. This is my. This is this is the Limitheron wheelhouse. Is uh, there's sound effects and all kinds of junk on this map. So, fun. Um, so you make your way in, and you notice immediately two things that this ship when uh, intact was clearly a ship of wealth there is gold leaf uh, and decor co e covering everything like red rich velvet uh all the wood decorating is very finely carved gold leaf everywhere anybody who's got a gold uh, uh you know a gold tooth if you will you know hankering for some gold is immediately aware that they could pull out a small dagger or a knife and carve off gold leaf and uh, that alone would probably make this a, a profitable venture hmm. um yeah uh the other thing that you notice is that there's a, a a faint reek scent foul scent on the air but you can't quite place your finger on what it is but it, it's something not it me this right time it's <laughs> Bill. <laughs> this Oi. is a different this is a different stink it's not the same as me I did not. I didn't bring this one with me. Mm -mm. This is uh, no. It's it's different, distinctly different. Okay. I don't know what it is though. Do you, you recognize this? Do we recognize what the stench is? No. No. Um. No. The only thing that you can put your finger on is death, 
but this is some there's something different about this death you can't it reminds you of of the death that you may have smelled in the past but there's something more unnatural about it spicy death it's spicy death. sriracha yeah. death <laughs> death death by nestle yeah <laughs> um all right uh all right, you, uh, you scallywags, spread out. Start searching for things. We're looking for plunder. All right. Split the party. Let's go. Yeah. Let's I will it. move right. to the uh, the lower the lower right on the map. Over here, yeah. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Sorry. You're coming. Maybe down. Maybe down here. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you I'm kind gonna of stand make squarely in the middle. <laughs> and uh, uh, our map is not nearly as decorated as the real thing is. There's debris everywhere, but the debris is opulent. Uh, you know, there's velvet, and you can see some golden candelabras lying there. Uh, and there's some paintings that have been knocked over. Um, and uh, in this direction, the smell uh, is is stronger. You can oh, tell you've moved towards perfect. the to, towards the scent, <laughs> um, but you're kind of in a a corridor of of sorts, if you will. Um, All right. There seems to be a passage uh, from your perspective to the north, and one that leads maybe to where like the bottom of the hold would be, um, to the east. Would we like? Do we know? Like, do we know each other for any reasonable amount of time? Like, would we know that Diego speaks to his dead wife? I'll let no, you guys decide that. Just... We just think he just talks to himself. I, th like, I think you just pretty much just think that I talk to myself. Okay. All right. No worries. Um, because y'all, yeah, because I'm uh, technically I'm I'm slightly insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be role playing, but yeah, on my character uh, yeah. sheet it says big stretch insane. there, Doug. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pull out a torch and light it. I have okay. six of them. <gasps> I'm a friend. Okay. I suppose we are sort of friends, yes. Just because I think I'm not going to be able to see a damn thing in here, so I want yeah, to force no, it. <laughs> it's getting dark. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, I will. Light flickers and fills this corridor. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm just, that's mostly what I'm trying to do. I'm, just, I'm a light source right now. Okay, great. And is Squid Libs with you, I take it? Yeah, I'm, st I'm sticking close. I don't trust leaving him off by himself. <laughs> okay. And what do you want to do, Squid Lips? Uh, hey, Captain, why don't we uh, check out in this direction? So we'll go um, opposite the direction that Sebast went in on the lowest deck there as well, down in the hold. You're going this way. Okay. Yes. Yeah, right. this kind of leads off deeper into the hold. You, you're clearly in the, the cargo hold portion of this sideways ship. Um, right. Ooh, maybe there'll be goats in here. Yeah, there there's no goats. goats. Miscellaneous debris. You do see a faint trail of blood leading off into the next room. Okay. I think we should investigate. All right. I we'll learned pursue, that word. We'll pursue the trail of blood. We'll track it to you, wherever it's going. You kick down the door to the next part of the hold, and you come across what at first seems to be a maybe dark fur covered creature. Um, but you hear like a, you know, biting, munching sound. Um, and you see, uh, as it turns to your horror, you see like the horrifying visage of a, of a, uh, jaguar covered in blood. Um, but it seems to be like, it's almost seems like it's flesh is falling from its body. Um, something is definitely not not right about this jaguar. Uh, it slowly turns and looks at you two. What do you guys do? Um, I'm gonna look in my cup of grog and slowly pour it out on the floor. <laughs> I squid lips. What do you be seeing here? This doesn't look right to me. Looks like a zombie <laughs> jaguar, sir. Oh, all right. Maybe it does then. <laughs> um. I will throw my torch at the zombie. Uh. <laughs> oh, nice. Excellent choice. Um, okay, well, well I'm not going to whip the it. First thing... <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, uh, the torch goes flying. Why don't you make me a presence check to see how well you throw this torch at this... Uh... Uh, I'm sorry, Squid Lips. I'm about to hit you in the back of the head with a torch. This Jaguar-esque oh, creature. Oh, wait, actually. 
Uh, wait, let me check my presence real quick here. I'm, I think I might have actually hit something. Oh, oh ne never mind. Fixed it. Missed. <laughs> Rolled an 11. <laughs> oh. The torch falls to the ground and the uh, the floor of the galleon erupts into flames. The Jaguar uh, howls ooh. just Captain. curses at you. Uh, and I'm going to need you guys to roll initiative. Wet. <laughs> and we'll, we're going to maintain initiative over the whole party, whether that works well for you guys or not. But you've split the party, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. I got an eight. Uh, it's I'm a D6. I'm an agile little skelly. But yeah. No, D no. Plus two. Initiative for, is, is just a oh, just a D D6. Oh, okay. Just the leader of the party can roll it. Six. Four, five, six. You guys win initiative. Very easy. Basically a coin flip. Um, okay, so uh, yeah. we'll say that the action that your action was to throw the torch, Squidlips. You do get to go before the jaguar. What would you like to do? I'd like to try to shoot the jaguar. <laughs> shoot the jaguar. Excellent. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. I got a, a, a thirteen. Um, a thirteen. Well, I mean, yeah, you need a twelve. So go ahead and roll damage. All right. Oh, let's hope this actually does you know, like something. I, when you when you really get in the swing of it, like if in a in a campaign, you can always roll your damage with your d twenty since it's you always know the target right. number, you know. Yeah. Um, nine. Okay, nine. Wow. Yeah. So you blast a huge chunk Holy. out of his uh, <laughs> skeletal flesh dripping shoulder, and you know I can't do a good jaguar, but you know it does that very like. Uh, uh, I'm looking at my jaguar sad little sound. whip. I, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just <laughs> blasts him out. So yeah, you now you've used your musket, and you aren't going to be able to use that again until you spend a turn reloading it. But it's definitely exactly. damaged this jaguar. Um, with that, before we do the jaguar's turn, let's switch to uh, Doug and uh, I'm sorry, what was it? Ben, Benjamin. What are what are Diego and Sebastian doing on the other side of the ship? Over here. Uh, I was just like starting to gather things in my in my arms uh sure to yeah you, you see some them. gold <laughs> candelabras definitely yeah. some gold plates definitely some loot here for sure uh and then i assume we i i hear the the shot uh <laughs> and i'll kind of yes start walking slightly briskly back towards uh uh the other side of the of the ship so as as you depart this uh, corridor of that smells reek, uh, the air freshens up a bit, and, and you see through an open doorway uh, the glimmer of firelight silhouetting Baleby and Squidlips, uh, just in time to see uh, a cat-shaped figure burst out of the flames onto one of them. Uh, Doug, what are you doing? I'm going to uh, I, well, I'm after I you know stop looting the the uh, the remains of the ship i uh i kind of look over and uh I'll, I'll take out my pistol and try to shoot uh the uh the this massive cat like creature <laughs> off of somebody that they just got that got just got, just got pounced on i yes. we'll see if if i shoot shoot them <laughs> or if i shoot you know the jaguar i don't know somebody getting know. shot yeah it's it's <laughs> it's it's like mid air as you like right. kind of drop the golden plate that you just picked up and you know like full like matrix style just like pull out your flintlock <laughs> and <laughs> make me a presence check uh, that, uh well that's not good that's a six uh yeah you you don't hit i'm gonna say five or less you might have hit somebody else you just barely miss uh we'll say squid lips you just you know, braze right. It just shot goes wide right over her shoulder. Ah! Yeah. Um, okay. Well, um, so then that Jaguar. That, it, I'm just picturing the scene from like Community where Donald Glover walks in after going to get pizza. And that's just me <laughs> holding all of these golden <laughs> candela candelabras, just the fire and jaguars and people fighting. Just like, uh. <laughs> Yeah, this is not yeah, Mr. Memo. we signed up for. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so this jaguar flying through the air is coming at you, Baleby. It is a DR8, or I'm sorry, it's DR12, D8 
coming at you with its claws e- e- oh, and boy. Okay. fangs and bite. All righty. Uh, and that is a 12. Um, I am going to use my... Oh, that's right. Tie goes to me. Right. Oh, yeah. You need a 12 to pass. Right, right, right. right. Okay. (laughs) All right. I will blast to the the floor. (laughs) Yeah, and as he flies over, you get this gross smell it's clearly some form of undead creature which given the given the setting is not all that surprising to you uh and you knew that there'd be dangers coming in to explore this thing um but with mm-hmm. that as the jaguar flies over your shoulder and you dodge all of a sudden it seems like to get you know uh, uh you know what's the what's the best descriptor very dementors ish in here it gets cold mm-hmm. and you know ice starts oh. to spread over oh, everything oh no and, you get a very creepy chilling feeling down your spine and darkness just seems to come to emanate from behind you um uh, as the smelly corridor uh that you were walking down just descends into further darkness um and uh squid lips and or, i'm sorry sebastian and diego you guys turn around uh, and you see almost just like not a silhouette like a shadow where light should be of a uh, of a humanoid figure with a be like flowing long hair and a tricorn hat uh and you see this figure raise its finger and you you hear some words and it goes uh, you guys are probably like terrified or st- or stupid one of the two you choose hey! <laughs> um, yeah um and I mean, uh, each of you to make me a DR10 agility check. Uh, 10. I failed. 14. I'm good. Anybody who, fa- anybody who fails takes four damage as black, oh. a black firestorm erupts around your body. <clears throat> Yeah, that's not good. It's better than that torch. So, health check. How are we doing? Oh. One. A, I've got five, one. Nobody hit dead? <laughs> not dead. Hanging on. Not yet. Uh, not dead not yet. Dead okay, yet. Okay, great. Um, yeah, you have stumbled on the lair of some dark, evil creature. You're not quite oh. sure of the nature. He seems like okay. maybe he was a. Uh, a, a human pirate type figure, um, but all you know now is that this him is now attempting to consume you in the form of a uh, black fire storm. All, all right, okay. it's your guys' turn. Uh, bleh, bleh. Okay, uh, I, um, uh, my cat of nine tails is not a ranged attack, is it? No. Um, I'll give you an extra five feet on it, though. Although that's just because you're big, you know. But it's not a ranged attack now. All right, I'm going to take that rusty knife that I got from the uh, Captain LeBlanc. (laughs) 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 I'm going to throw it (laughs) at this scary black figure, creepy thing. Where did I put my D four? There it is. Okay. Uh, That's a presence check for throwing, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, my presence is, I believe, a minus one. If I'm not mistaken. No, it's a minus two. So I miss, and it goes spinning past him into the into the inky darkness. <laughs> I guess. It sticks into the one of the pieces of wood. I, it's that cursed tricorn. I hate tricorns. I have a bicorn myself. <laughs> Threw me aim off. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, all right. How about Squid Lips? That's the name Squid Lips. I have a question. Yes, from bring when, it on. From when Bailby threw the the torch earlier, is the ship on fire still? Do we have fire that like regular fire <laughs> that we're dealing real with? Fire versus black fire. <laughs> yeah, we have real fire and magical yes, black you have fire. Regular f- 
You okay. have regular fire behind you and black fire in front of you, and then sunlight to your, your left if you uh, if you're looking at Duck the in the middle dark with you. Okay, so we <laughs> yeah, exactly. so we have we have real fire, black fire, and a zombie jaguar. Oh, I forgot about the jaguar. Is that, is that <laughs> sorry, sorry, is jaguar? That the, is that everything? Right now, it's everything. Yeah, accurate, what do you want more? That's an okay, <laughs> no, I'm just making sure I'm I'm <laughs> caught up. Just properly sure. appraised I also, of the terror. Getting the status I also report. have a musket that I just fired, and I need to reload before I can mm. do anything with it again. And this is the only weapon I have, uh, so I'm gonna run for the sunlight. <laughs> So that I can go somewhere safe. Yeah, you know, not in a, full of fire I would say, here, to how about reload. This, it, in a, in a, any longer of a game, you would have had a chance to shop. So if, I'll give you, if you want to spend some money on a cut cutlass or something, sure, you could I'd, love have to a have a, I'd love or, to have yeah. a cutlass. I'd love to have a cutlass. I'd love to have a cutlass, and then I can slash at the zombie jaguar. Also, you just raided know. a bunch of bucking or a bunch of uh, Tartuga true. pirates. Like you could have looted them. That's you know? true. Well, I would do have a just flashback taken one of their here. This is mine now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could have taken it off okay, that, that guy that I D6. blew a chunk out of. D six. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can hit and the. What, who are you attacking? The zombie jaguar. That thing's terrifying. The zombie jaguar. Yes. Okay. I got a thirteen. Yes, always need always need a twelve. What would roll damage? All right, one. <laughs> okay, squid lips. <laughs> <clears throat> you you slice off its undead ear, and it, it just kind of slaps to the side of the wall. Ew. Um, that was Squid Lips yep. and Bale B. How about Diego? Um, am I still on fire? Is is that what is you said there was like I fire I don't that, think that like you were on fire. Me? No, I there's just, just get, there's like, fire all around in the in the room behind you, yeah. Oh, and that's what that's what gave me my four points of damage. Magical black oh, no, fire. The, I think that oh no, that was the that was oh yes. No, that was, you that was not the fire, on yeah. fire from mm -hmm. the that you were not on fire from the fire black firestorm. It was a you know necrotic evil attack that happened to you that is now disappeared. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't. You don't sure need if to I deal to, like, with it. I thought maybe I'd have to go run into the ocean or something. <laughs> yeah, no. Stop, um, drop, and roll. And Why are you running if you're on fire? Yeah. Well, because Did you uh, not go to elementary I, school. Well, no, I hung Stop, out with I, I, I hung out with the uh, Bailby too much, so. <laughs> <laughs> starting to run up rub off on me so um yeah i'm going to uh kind of back up a little bit and uh, i think i can shoot my uh pistol one more time before because it says i can i have two rounds it looks like before i need to reload so i'm gonna shoot i'm gonna shoot that uh whatever that that black shadow monster is that uh really is causing okay, havoc great. Yeah, DR12 and roll damage. Oh, oh, oh. And in the meantime, I'm going to also uh, yell out to Esmeralda, Esmeralda um, translation, please. Translation. Like, just because we heard all that, uh, you know, we heard the uh, mumbling. Sort of dark of, language, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, oh, no, that was, that is, oh, no, that's, so that's cock. Never mind. It's, it's simple math, Doug. Three, three, that's a three. Not good. That will miss. Yep. Your shot goes wide and does not hit the dark creature. And Sebast. Uh, so yeah, as the black like necrotic flame flies past me and narrowly singes the wisps of hair around me, uh, I'm going to drop the golden uh, candela uh, candelabras and everything and uh, pull out my uh, flintlock pistol and take a shot at this... Uh, zombie pirate lord thing and uh let's see what we can do yeah okay uh let's see i am actually going to use one of my devil's lux to reduce the dr by 
four, so I will hit and I will do seven points of damage. Ooh. Oh wow! Palpably, so I your shot hits. Your your shot misses wide, but you hit some form of uh, metal gold plate that you just dropped, and your devil's luck it ricochets. Hits this guy straight in the forehead. But as it hits, the black flame that singed you kind of uh, curdles and um, writhes around the shot. And he does negate two points of that, but he does take five points of damage from your shot. Okay. Mm. Wow. Very nice. Very nice done. Um, is I that feel all? Hopefully underarmed in this fight <laughs> <laughs> yes but just, now i have to spend two turns reloading so yeah, so that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah and like i said if you wanted to have acquired an, a, another weapon by all means oh no it's I, fine I, i'm fine with it i'm fine with the cat to understand the mechanics here <laughs> yeah sure i think i mean the idea would be a, a true uh awesome pirate would have multiple pistols Fire them that's off. what i was gonna say right. in the movies because, that's why i always see them with yeah. like four pistols in their belts so they can be like bang, yeah bang, you can bang. they take a while to reload but you can imagine yeah. a smart player would uh load up on as many as possible so you how many less can i carry <laughs> you can carry strength plus eight items so yep. <laughs> um, so quite a okay few. so we're gonna go with the jaguar so the jaguar oh, no. uh is still gonna come at Bailby. uh it, it's lunging out at you again it's kind of done a 180 and it lunges back at you d8 damage go ahead and make d8 an agility damage. check CR12. And agility that's not the right dice there it is okay i got an 18 so i snarily avoid its snappy jaws and slashing claws and dodge out of the way yes i'm just like i'm literally just tripping yes. over things i'm not even really dodging i'm just like oh my god it's coming at me oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. stand up as it flies overhead like oh it missed oh <laughs> uh, yeah you just happily duck and it flies over you um okay who do you think is closest to the dark shadowy creature uh who was like a, either the, it was in the hallway. myself yeah i was gonna say it was in the hallway that sebastian diego were in yeah okay so i think uh, probably, i think this, this creature me. is aware that the yeah, that the, the the dark flame has really hurt Diego. So he raises what you can now see as a skeletal finger and points it at you, Sebast. Um, and I need you to make a spirit check, DR twelve. All right. Or bad things will happen to you. Or bad things. Uh, thirteen. You uh, are able to, like, using your pure willpower, resist this, like, life-sucking force that seems to be emanating from his finger. Not today. Um, and it is your guys' turn. Zombie thing. <laughs> yeah. um, I am going to try uh, and, like, I'll, I'll pop back up and crack the cat of nine tails at the jaguar as it uh, stumbles around trying to come back at me. Uh, uh, uh okay. hit, I uh, hit it for a whole point of damage. <laughs> Did you cut off its other? It ear? takes one point. So it's, I guess it is now. Yeah, yeah. That's you, no ears. You whip off its other. <laughs> it's now missing its ears. <laughs> it's um, deaf now. <laughs> it's not. It's not happy with you. Uh, okay. How about Squidlet? I will also try attacking the the zombie jaguar again let's see if i can manage the, the to jaguar. do more than one one stupid damage it's pronounced jaguar Un, undead <laughs> undead jaguar oh that doesn't look no. good squid lips it's a whole bunch <laughs> you, of no you have it's just no you have devil's luck <gasps> oh that's much, right i do so i forgot good. about that okay let's try yes. that then so that's just a reroll, but i used it so i just I, once yeah, i use it, it you, it's done. well what how much did you fail by a lot. I rolled a Okay, then yeah, six. you want to re-roll it. Because you, you can always like lower the DR by four. No, I would no. <laughs> I was not anywhere near close <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right, yeah, go ahead and re-roll. Okay, 15. That hits. Roll damage. And I got a five for damage. Oh. How does the undead Jaguar uh. seem to die? 
Okay, oh well, no, that's not on. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's an undead, so I cut its head off, and I'm like, please, okay, you let cut that its, actually work. You, you cut its head off. Now, what was the damage you rolled when you attack? How much? What size die did you roll? A d6. Okay, re-roll the d6 and don't roll a one. <laughs> I got a five again. <laughs> Okay, it's dead. Its head goes flying and smashes against the wall. It slides down in black ichor. You now see a, there is now a dead jaguar silhouetted those, by the flames coming from the back of this ship. For those not familiar with with actual plays that I'm on, don't roll a one is a very tall order for That's me. That's a challenge accepted <laughs> oh, thing yeah. for Amanda, yeah. yeah no, you exactly. roll a one, you said? I can do yeah, that. So, uh, so uh, there's a, a, a cool mechanic we've kind of built into this that, that uh, when you kill undead in this game, you can you roll the damage. As you saw, you roll the damage dice again, meaning that if you attack it with a big weapon, you're much less likely for it to come back. But if you if you do a puny amount of damage, it is more likely to resurrect itself. So, I like that. That's a, that's a neat mechanic. Yeah. I like that. That's a fun, a fun way to deal with it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah it's easy, too. Which I got nice. the idea from... I got this idea from a, a, it's like a better crits or like a better death table rather than just dying. The amount mm -hmm. of damage on that table, you know, if it was a D12, you're probably going to die with a 10 or an 11, you know, but yeah, dagger, you, know? Uh, you probably, you just have, you lose an eye, you know, but so we converted that to the, you know, you get the idea. Nice. Okay. Nice. So Sebastian, uh, Diego, what do you guys want to do? Dead Jaguar flames behind you. Uh, scary skeletal shadowy uh tricorned creature in front of you uh Next i turn. am going to uh i'm just going to frantically try to reload my uh my my gun because <laughs> all don't right have uh, really the fact that you said frantically to... <laughs> how about this i will yeah. per your if you would like i will let you make a presence check to try all to right. reload it faster but if you sure. fail, you will. It'll take you an extra round. Done. Let's do this. Uh, I got a fifteen. All right, we reload it this round, so it'll be ready for you next round. Let's go. Nice. So you're like, <laughs> you're like had, had my the ramrod. You know? had, had my powder. Panic ready to is rock. amazing thing sometimes. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Diego. So I am. Uh, Uh, I, I'm gonna open up my my jacket and pull out another pistol, and just just try to take another shot at uh, at this big black skeleton captain and and uh, while all while I'm still screaming translation translation <laughs> please Esmeralda Esmeralda now's not the time to go silent let me know what the uh, let me know what he's saying. Oh, do you? And, uh, uh, you so you want to know? What he, do you want to use your clairvoyance too? Yeah, let's do that too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you technically you should only be able to use that or the shot, but for fun purposes, we'll do both. Sure. Um, sure. And, and so, uh, let go ahead and make the shot first. Okay. Uh, that is a thirteen. That'll hit. Always a twelve. Four. Roll damage. Seven damage. Oh, wow. Seven damage. Oh, wow. Once again, the shot. This hit, hits dead on, right kind of in his shoulder, and you see this kind of black flame ripple almost like it's a water current. You know, uh, it ripples around his body, and as it ripples, you can it reveals beneath him, you can see uh, kind of bluish, ghoulish flesh uh, and red glowing eyes of this, of this creature. Um, but the aura does absorb. Ooh, I rolled a four, so he only mm. takes three damage. All right. Um, so he has taken eight damage so far. Um, and then Esmeralda. Uh, so you want her to um, know? What do you want to ask her? Uh, I was going to uh, try to get her to because he kind of spewed all this gibberish out when right before he he attacked us, and I kind of want to know what what he was saying as he was i mean i can probably guess what he was saying but i would like to know like exactly what he was yeah, saying um, uh she says in a very 
sassy tone, I don't. Maybe he wants you to buy him dinner or something, or maybe it's some foul dark magic. How can I know? Wow, that's... All right. Hey, uh... Sebastian, you get, uh... Trying to think of a pirate themed restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Long John Silver. Yeah, yeah. Red Lobster. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. They were just kind of. I was like, so that you, you get this coupon still for Long John Silver's. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm just going to be like, uh, no help. I can't believe she's she's not helping me. All right, that uh, is that is that that's everybody, right? That's the bad guys. Up I here. think that's I think that's yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, with that, uh, you, you you the the kind of black aura, uh, ghostly aura that shrouds his body is starting to thin out, and you can see these red glowing eyes and this you know blue green flesh, uh, kind of uh, hidden underneath. Uh, and he just he's starting to look not pretty happy so he will raise his finger uh, and he will point at you Diego and he utters some more dark evil words which Esmeral speaks she spews to you oh he's doing it again you better watch out and I need you to make me a spirit a dr12 spirit check uh, that is a dirty 20. Noise. A dirty 20. Um, yeah. I don't have a mechanic ready for that against this save, so we'll just say that he can no longer do this spell against you for this combat. Okay. Um, oh, as wow, the spell kind cool. of backfires, says, ah! <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but with that, he is going to pull out his cutlass and take a stab at Sebast, who is probably the closest. Oh. That's going to be a D8, uh, Sebast. So you know, right. agility check, DR12. Uh, take D8 damage. I don't it. like all of these high dice on damage. <laughs> right. Uh, 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 yeah. Have you yep. got any more of that nope. devil's luck? <laughs> uh, you know, I don't, actually, because when you have a D4 and you roll a 1... Uh, hey, welcome off. to my boat, yes. So, uh, yes, I'm going to take 5 damage. Ow. Uh, which is actually going to see me uh, just... How points do you have? Drop to the ground because oh. I only have four. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, wait. Are so you're negative? I am negative one. Okay, so in That's... Morkborg and in Pyroborg, negative equals death. Yep, my friend, oh. you are our first death as this um, probably not the uh, last ghostly poor <laughs> yes this ghost, ghostly creature oh. <laughs> uh, he's he slices wow. you he just slices down right through you and uh Doug just shuffled him right off this mortal coil to <laughs> off to davy jones uh, locker with you Se sebast you are um so sebast I, we're, I think we're running on time here uh, just in the interest of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, and just for that, I think that at that moment, at this moment, you fly in as your new char char character. Ooh. You are a lucky parrot. Oh. Oh. Um, what is your name? Uh, my name is Beaky. Beaky. <laughs> Beaky. I, I know. Actually, you know what? I'm going to retcon that. You fly in as a foul fowl, which is a cursed chicken because it has more things they can do right now. <laughs> right um, on. So, uh, nice. In our in our kind of wrapping up here, I want you to roll me two d twenties to learn which relic skill you begin with and which right. arcane ritual spell you begin with. Uh, so first die is a four. Okay, so and the, the is, a, uh, is a twenty. Okay, so you have the effects. If you've got your um, PDF up, you have yeah. the effects of the Will of the Wisp lantern, which means that you can basically emit bright light uh, or darkness uh, for spirit plus D six rounds. We'll just say six rounds. Um, and then the twenty was you have the weathercraft ritual meaning that you can change the direction 
and speed of the wind and start or stop rain, fog, or thunderstorms. You're very powerful. Right. Cursed. Foul, foul. Um, congratulations. I don't want to take Beaky with me when um, we leave. He'd be useful on the boat. <laughs> Beaky, right. is that his name? <laughs> For real, Beaky, yep. I mean, how many games can you play as a cursed chicken, guys? Come on. You know? <laughs> Not very many. <laughs> Um, okay, was that where are we at? Um, that was you murdering Sebastian. That's yep. your oh, yeah, so then it's your guys' turn. So we'll start with you guys, Beaky. Yeah, you're well, <laughs> sorry, you don't have a damage spell, Beaky. I think you can do D, D2 damage on your beak. Let me check it. D2 okay. damage on my beak. Pack at him. I will. I will. Uh, I will. Uh... Foul, foul. You okay? Here, here are the things. All of your stats are minus two, except for spirit, which is actually a plus three. So you're really okay. good at magic. Uh, you have D4 plus toughness hit points, and your beak does D2 damage. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yes, I will kind of like uh, hop up a little, little skip forward and try to peck uh, the the ankle of this thing. Uh, Savage and... ankles. <laughs> I unfortunately do not hit. I only ah. rolled okay that's ah. that's too bad you, you could also re-roll your devil's luck for the day by the way uh sure why not which why not which is d4 for being Watch a good tall tail uh, ooh, i class. have four points ah, okay so I you want to roll that roll or change the so, dr yeah. uh let's change the dr so that i will hit so okay so we roll, d, roll d2 damage d2 he's damage. Cursed, but he's lucky. <laughs> uh it's gonna be two damage Oh wow! Okay, so it does hit his necrotic uh, 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 aura, his ghostly aura. But we'll say that it's reduced now um, because of the your pure foulness, and he only negates one, so he takes one damage. That's right. Um, and you now has now you can really clearly see that this is a uh, once was once the figure of a man, um, and is now he looks like a he looks kind of like a zombie lich pirate of sorts uh you can only assume he's some form of a necromancer hmm. um let's go to diego um i'm gonna be i'm, I'm gonna look down at this uh, this chicken <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like, Val he's distracted yeah, by the devil chicken yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> so, Sebastian, Sebastian, did, did, did you just possess this chicken? Fuck. Is it? <laughs> and I, I'm going to uh, reach down, grab the uh, the chicken in one arm, and and start running towards the sunlight. Oh, cowardice! Fleeing the scene. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, okay. Now it is because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my captain. <laughs> you are now. You are now holding a foul foul. Yes. Um, okay, Baleby and Baleby and Squidlips. What are you guys doing? Um, I will point with one hand at the fleeing Diego and say coward, <laughs> and I will swing my cat and nine tails at the bad guy. Uh, and that's a yeah, that's thirteen a to hit for four damage. All right, yeah, his, well, his, his diminished aura will only negate one of that damage. Um, cool. So he'll take three. Um, so that's nine, ten, eleven. He is looking not well, I'll be honest. Uh, ah, lips. squid lips, finish him off! Now, I will remind uh, you guys, your devil's uh, luck is... It doesn't have to be applied to just you. You can spread, you can share the wealth with the devil's ooh. luck. The re-roll... Any dice? A lot of those things can be applied to the else's thing. How many times can we do that per action, though? Like if, as if many I as use you it, say, give somebody day. else a. Oh, so I can just like if we can do multiple times. Yeah, like if you like roll if I want to give somebody day, else a reroll. Like if 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 so, like yeah, I say you... if 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 Ben had rolled and missed, I could have given him one to roll again, and if he missed again, I could have given him another one. Sure. Yeah. There's only there one. Are. Okay. All right. Cool. I, cool, cool. I would say in, in Morkborg, it's intentionally vague, and in Pyreborg, I'm God. So, yes, you can do it. <laughs> okay. The voice of God has spoken. Oh, okay. I'm Poseidon. Yeah. Yes. There right. you go. 
Exactly. All right. I I will I I will attempt to attack the zombie pirate lich guy yes. with my cutlass. Great. It cuts because it's in the name. I got a thirteen. That will hit. Please roll damage. Five for damage. Oh, squid nips. Mm. Okay, five. I'd promote you, but that would so... make you me. I don't think this roll matters, but let's roll it anyway. This <laughs> necro aura negates two, but he takes oh. three, which is 15 hit points, which is exactly how many he has. How does Aha! the necromancer die? I, I, I'm going to say that the uh, that final slice, his uh, his dark, creepy aura just completely dissipates and leaves mm -hmm. behind just a sad, skeletal-looking figure that crumples in on itself and falls down. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so a couple things happen. The necromancer lich pirate guy dies. Uh, the ship is on flames, in flames. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the whole thing starts to crumble and fall apart. What do you do to end the episode? Starting clockwise with Diego, go. I'm I'm going to uh, stand there and uh, uh, pet the 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 the, <laughs> the foul foul the, the foul foul that I think foul, is now foul. possessed by Sebast, our our captain. And I'll be like, it's it's okay, captain. I still have some of the treasure in my in my jacket. We're we're gonna be just fine. As I watch the the ship, uh, like you know, still just go up in flames and and uh, start to uh, you know fall in on itself. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> Rescuing your chicken friend. Um, I am going to try to grab. Uh, when we started attacking, I uh, Sebast said that he dropped what he was carrying to go for his weapons. I'm going to try and grab what he dropped if it's in a close enough area and bolt for the side of the ship to get out. How many open inventory slots do you have? Uh, that that would be strength plus eight. Eight souls. That's seven for me. Um, and I have one, two. I have three items, so I have four slots open. Four slots open. Okay, so... Yeah. The first thing you grab is a candelabra worth 62 pieces of eight silver. Nice. The second thing you grab is a golden plate worth uh, uh worth 60 pieces of eight. Mm. Okay. Uh, the third thing is a emerald medallion that he had stepped in his pocket but dropped. It fell out with a gold chain that is worth uh 74 pieces of eight. And then finally, a gold ring worth a lot of uh, 64 pieces of eight. You're pretty good haul for four items. Nice. Right. Not Ooh. that the numbers matter, uh, but it's nice to know what you got out. Yeah, it's still nice to know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll holler at Squid Lips over my shoulder. Come on, Squid Lips. The place is falling apart. Ah! Doing no part to my actions with the torch. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Squid Lips is just <laughs> running for the dinghy and uh trying to get us uh shoved off of the beach <laughs> running away from oh, okay, the burning okay. ship just like get me yeah, out just, of here you just <laughs> you just like s sprint past like full force bail is just like hey i got some gold and you're just running out. exactly yeah. Uh, Already Beaky, like what shoving, the, in the, arms shoving of the boat into the water uh, and just kind of hanging on to it, yeah. like let's go. <laughs> just kind of like flapping my wings, Diego. trying to <laughs> <laughs> kind of lightly peck at his hands. Like I can actually fly faster than this, you fool! Let let let, let me go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was half hoping yeah. you were going to try and kill him. <laughs> peck him to death on the beach. <laughs> he does only have one hit point left. He does. I'm a foul, foul, I, stabby, stabby. Oh. <laughs> I will, uh, I will point out. We could end this game on a high note, and Beaky could choose to use his weathercraft ritual to attempt to bring some water in, some a thunderstorm, and put this fire mm. out. Ooh, should yeah. you be so interested? Ooh, we can we can <laughs> try that. Watch me die. Watch it backfire sure. and kill okay, him again. So, oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a spear. I really hope you fail this roll because then we right? get to roll on the mishaps table. But to end a game, 
uh, ca- cast your ritual. It's a DR12 spirit check. You need to All roll. Right. Uh, technically, you need to roll your stat real quick. So mm-hmm. just roll, th- roll 3d6 to see what your stat is. Uh, stat is a 11. Uh, you rolled you rolled an 11? Yes, yes, I got a 6, six, six four, 1. You mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, where's my table here? Sorry. An 11 is a plus 0. So you have a plus yep. 3 to spirit, which is great. Okay. So make a DR12 spirit check because you're a, a foul foul. Uh, roll rolled up. an 11, so 3. That's a 14. The weather co- nice. ha- behaves as you wish. Uh, I'm assuming you want a rainstorm, a heavy rainstorm to move in and, you know, yeah. Uh, so one of the things I'll share about the foul foul, because I think it's my favorite class in the whole game. I'm just going <laughs> to read this to you guys real quick in closing. Foul foul. Gain the ability from one random relic and one random ritual. When you are killed, the ghosts of a hundred chickens swarm your assailant, ripping their spiritual soul from their flesh. Fantastic. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's it. like a grenade. It's almost like a fun, <laughs> it's like a fun class to play and then die with you, know? <laughs> you kind of want to die yeah. <laughs> that's yes. great super super awesome well congratulations that's... guys you have successfully uh plundered the galleon of uh the necromancer Yay. with nice. loot and my, only my one, one of, us, of us only one yeah. of us died no Almost. no he's right here he's right here right <laughs> Sebastian. Where, where, where are we going next where, Captain, where, where are we going, Captain? He talks to his dead wife and a chicken. <laughs> and yeah, and, I just I'm only mean, slightly the insane, idea. Only slightly. The yeah. idea of campaign play with a captain that's a chicken is just pure <laughs> would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to get your crew to follow the orders of a guy, the first mate, talking to a chicken and taking orders from the chicken? <laughs> Morale checks Fantastic. every time you try to do something. <laughs> Oh, just uh, constant morale checks all the time. Uh, well, Luke, right, thank guys, you. Well, thank this has been so Pirate much. Berg. What did you? Yeah. Uh, Thanks for letting me do the roll table thing. I think that that actually, I, I, I think yeah, if right, I had yeah. hidden the rolls, that would have been a like unknown to you guys, a great story session on its own. Right. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Good. Yeah, no, I, we appreciate it. I, I, that, was, that was a blast. I, I'm going to tell folks that uh, if you've, uh, Stuck around this long and you haven't already, check out the Kickstarter in the in the description uh, below. Uh, it's super, super fun. Uh, I think y- you can see why it's a huge success right now. And, and uh, there's a lot of it's already done. I mean, Luke, you, you, you want to just finish it up and then hit print, I think, uh, at this point. And hopefully uh, Dude, you, know, you, can, you can get it out. Yeah, uh, that's that's awesome. Um, I mean, it's I, it's I, it's fully playable. Uh, there's just a few more pages. I mean, we're, I'll be, I'm going to be done before the campaign's over, I think. And then we're going to send out a beta PDF immediately. We're not waiting. I want people to be playing it. And I want to get all the playback, playtest feedback before the pledge manager closes. So when sure. we send it to the printer, it's it's got at least one level of like feedback. I think there, there's got to be some things in there that are like, what happens if I do this twice? Or, or whatever, you know, and I'll, if we can catch those beforehand, mm-hmm. great. But it's all it's Markborg. Like I really think that if you're if you can't figure out how to make two weird rolls work, uh, you're doing it wrong. That's my you know. Sure. That's my, my <laughs> well, yeah, especially in this system like like this one. Yeah, it's yeah almost in, it's probably the best thing about these systems based on Markborg and stuff like that is it's very intuitive when it comes to coming up with rules solutions because it's always yes. it's super simple. You're not like I need to look through 14 rules to decide what we're gonna do. You know. Mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, no, that's, that's the other thing too. Is making up cool? monsters sure, we'll is so easy. Um, if you don't, if you don't know what the, mo- I just use like BX style. Is it how big is it? If it's really big, I, if it's really big, I roll five d eight to figure out the hit points, and then however much damage you need, like then you're done. You know, you don't have to really like think about all these crazy rules. It it, it can change how combat goes, but that's part of the fun. So, absolutely, absolutely. All right. Well, I, I want to thank everyone for, for joining us tonight. Uh, if you're watching this in the replay, thank you so much for, for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button down below. Uh, you know, 
also if you if you haven't subscribed please please consider subscribing i greatly appreciate that we love our, our youtube community and and being able to showcase all sorts of uh great indie rpgs like like pirate borg here uh, on the show luke uh Congratulations on your, your early success so far. Thank you for giving your time. Thank you very much. Jason, Amanda, Ben, thank you as always uh, for coming on. And, and uh, I know this uh, usually Monday nights I get done a little bit earlier than this. So we greatly appreciate you staying up. And, and uh, It's only this, nine. Uh, what are you this, talking about? Well, for, for the rest of us, it's a little <laughs> bit later than that. Uh, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. Luke, if folks want to know more about uh, what you do besides the Kickstarter, where, where, where else should folks uh, go? Can folks fo follow you on Twitter or, or any social media that you yeah. you would like? Yeah, I'm a, I'm on Twitter, Twitter at Limithron. I got an Instagram that's at Limithron. I got a website. Um, the I think the best spot if you really want to engage is I have a Discord called Limithron's Pirate Ship, which you can find pretty much anywhere you look for it. Um, and there's all pe kinds of people, especially with the Kickstarter going, people are always talking about play testing and i'm sure after the pdfs go out there'll be game organization and stuff like that too so awesome awesome and hopefully we'll get a, get a chance to connect at uh, origins and gen con uh, later this year so if folks are going yes, to uh, both of those those conventions uh, make sure to uh, look luke up and uh, i'm sure that uh, he'd love to chat all things piratey with you so always all right folks that's gonna do it for this episode Remember, winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Yar. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you would be so kind, make sure you hit that like, uh, comment, and subscribe. All the YouTube jazz that we're supposed to do here. Uh, it really is greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to support us more, uh, you can uh, check us out on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com backslash victory condition gaming. have all sorts of Patreon perks, and it definitely helps support our show. Thank you so much.